100. Hello. Hello, everybody. I know I'm super late going live. I said I was going to go live. I went to the grocery store. I came home. I cleaned up after my dog. I took my dog for a walk. Lost my phone. Found my phone. Started getting stuff ready for the live stream. Made the thumbnail. <laughs> went to the restroom. All that good stuff that I wanted to do before I went live. So um, I'm here. What's up, Caesar? So it's super late. So I don't know how many people are going to actually come in. But I've melted a little bit of butter in here. Um, I added some uh, garlic. Anna, you're here. What's up, Lisa J? Um, I have some garlic that I'm going to add to it. Um, it's just some minced garlic that I'm going to put in the butter. I got some oregano at the store and I got some basil leaves. So I'm going to add that also into the butter mix. I'm going to be making, um, I'm going to attempt at making, I've never made it before, um, little pizza roses. So I got the pizza crust. I got some Prego pizza sauce and we'll try that out. And then I also got some bell peppers. Hello, Daisy. Hi, Nancy. Hey, Anna. How's everybody? Lisa, Caesar, you guys are all here for pizza. And I actually was doing this live stream for Wolf Wolf, so hopefully he can come in. Um, if not, he can watch the replay. I did tell him I was going to go live today, but I did say I was going to go live a little bit earlier than I am. So, you know, it is what it is. Nothing ever happens on time in a timely manner. Hello, everybody. Hey, Dragonite. I just walked Sierra. I just picked up after her. She was playing inside the house. She was destroying everything. And then I got up here, um, all this food, and then she wanted to jump up. And I was like, no, I don't want dog hair all in my pizza. So, um, yeah, that was a wrap. So <laughs> I put her up for just a little while until I'm able to make the pizza. So I got also some mozzarella cheese. I got both shredded and I got the sliced reason being is because when i lay the pizza dough down i'm gonna lay the the sliced one and then i'm gonna also try to put some more cheese on top because you know we love cheese up in this house i'm just saying well at least i love cheese up in this house how many of you guys like cheese and then i got some uh, hormel pepperoni they had different choices you could get like 70 percent less fat or something like that which i probably should have got that one um or you could get uh the turkey pepperoni so anyway i'm gonna try these out and see how it goes i'm gonna see how to do these i know like my biological father he used to hate like biscuits that came like this he called them whopping biscuits what's up magic my pizza deep dish please <laughs> i'm gonna end up putting them in these little like um pans what do you call it the cupcake pans i'm gonna see if they fit in there um so anyways he called them whopping biscuits because you oh my i have a pain in my elbow so that did not feel good anyway so you go like this and i always get scared to do this you guys because like it always makes like that popping sound so i don't ever want it to pop on me anyway so you go like this you peel it off and then you pop it down but you know what i got for dessert you guys i couldn't pass these up i'm allergic to cinnamon y'all but i love cinnamon rolls so i got me some grand cinnamon rolls to make for our dessert so we're gonna do that there you go we whopped it and we opened it up <laughs> all right i got the dough right here it smells nice and fresh and doughy <laughs> so how's everybody doing tonight hello mikey Magic Mike's into his house. Miguelito, I was calling you like all morning. You didn't answer. I don't know why you don't ever answer my calls. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dough and I'm going to actually roll it out. I, um, I, I'm going to, I'm going to move it. So I'm going to actually put it on my countertop. Some people put um flour down on their countertop the countertop will be nice and clean because i'm about to clean it right now before i do anything i also have a cutting board and i'm gonna put down a, a little bit of flour if i can find some flour so that way the um dough doesn't stick to the what do you call it the countertop i was probably asleep i, I don't think so i called you like i don't know like four different times 
um, get a cinnamon roll out from Pink Box um, next time. Is you know what? I think I did get one when I went to Pink Box, or I don't know because this last time I went to Pink Box, I've got like a whole bunch of donuts to try out. It was for the Super Bowl, and it was like um, the 49ers and the and the Chiefs donuts and all of their like yard line donuts and um what else was there there was a football shaped one there was a lot of different ones they're so good they're so sweet i could barely eat like a few bites and i'm like it was really sweet all right hold on i'm gonna get some flour real quick hold on let's see if i can find some flour i know i have some but i just don't know where it's at oh let's see here i have sugar A little thing of flour so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna wipe everything down before i get started just because sierra had jumped up here and i really don't like dog hair in my food it's just not that appetizing yeah i kind of get um the plain ones oh you get the plain donuts they're not as sweet probably unfortunately i like like the glaze and stuff like that that's like a little bit more on the sweet side okay hold on you guys let me just get a paper towel to wipe down everything um, let me get a little soapy soap. I'm going to wipe it all down really, really good. And then that way I'll put it, I'll put it directly on the counter and I'll just wash the counter off later. Some people use a cutting board, but I want to have enough space to, um, to cut out everything. I want to be, not cut it out, but I want to roll it at least and then cut it up. So you're going to need a... Uh, pizza cutter. I'm gonna see if I have one right over here. I have my pizza cutter. You're gonna need also a um, rolling pin to roll out the dough. Um, I need to go see Dune 2. I haven't even seen Dune 1. Am I behind in life, guys? Because I haven't seen Dune 1. I had a big rolling pin, but Lord knows what happened to that thing. So now all I know is where this rolling pin is. I literally bought a big one though. I don't see it anywhere. All right, so this rolling pin will have to do, hey, either this or nothing. So this is better than nothing. I'm going to open up a little bit of this flour and I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over the, um, what do you call it? The countertop. So that way the dough doesn't stick. Is Wolf Wolf in the house? Did Wolf make his pizza? Wolf will see around in 10 minutes. That's fine. It'll take me about 10 minutes to get, get started here anyways. So Wolf Wolf, this stream is for him because he had told me to make him, I think he said to make him pizza and cookies or pizza and something, but I, I decided to make cinnamon roll instead. I hope he's not going to kill me for that. <laughs> I don't know what kind of cookies he wanted, but I can make him cookies on a different day. So I'm just gonna put like a little bit here. Let me see if I can put this down. And I need to put the air on because it's hot as hell up in here. Hold on. Let's see. I'll put it on. Okay, I'll just leave it on until until I um what do you call it? Until I cool off a little bit. I've been on the go, go, go all day long. Okay, so I'm just spreading the flour around like so. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to put it so you guys can see. Hey, y'all, Beetlejuice fans. Part two is coming out. Oh, yeah. What's up, MXP? How are you? Good to see you in the chat. Thank you so much for joining. Sorry if I missed anybody's comments. Rhonda and um, Movie Godzilla are film parts. In the house of Australia in the mall. Oh, yeah, we, me and Michael were watching the mall the other night. All right, you guys. So you get your dough out. You can use however much. I got actually two of them. I don't know if I'm going to use all both of them today. 
Because I was gonna originally make it for the kids, but I don't know if they're like still up and it's weird because this dough, ooh, I'm gonna separate it like this. I know there's people that make their dough from scratch. I don't have time for all that. No way, no how do I have time for all that. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna put my dough down here. Oh, let me put it back down. You guys don't wanna see me, you wanna see what's being done, right? So I just flattened the dough like this and I'm gonna roll it out. And we'll see how many we can um, actually make. So I'm gonna cut them into about two inches uh, wide going across. Maybe like, we might be able to get like six of them out of here. We'll see. I know some people like thick crust and some people like thin crust. I got just the, the regular classic crust, but they do offer the thin crust in, in the um, store. So if you're not much of a dough person, I'm not. Miguelito is. He likes he likes his his pizza nice and crusty. <laughs> For me, I prefer um, the thinner the crust, the better. Or even um, times I make my crust out of chicken. If you guys have ever made it out of chicken and um, cheese, um, I would do that too. Can you guys see okay? Let me know if you guys can see okay. Hi, Dr. Sammy. The only problem about, um, hey, Rhonda, what happened um, at the end of the 80s club stream? Oh, my phone died. <laughs> my phone died, unfortunately. So I didn't have a way to uh, go live. By the time I got home, it was already late. I just wanted to go to sleep anyway. So nothing really ex ex significant happened. Um, oh, you know what? My phone died inside. I was telling Miguelito to go to my live stream to look at some girl, but I forgot. I think my phone had died. You're right. So I don't even think he was able to see her. I thought she was on my live stream, but I forgot that it was dead. All right. So there's that. So I'm going to cut these into, you're going to want to make it kind of like straight. So on the end, I'm just going to cut straight. Okay, you guys, that wasn't straight. <laughs> that was like, all right but at least that the edge is straight it's not necessarily that i cut straight so i'm gonna i'm gonna see how many i can make so if we do them about like two inches and we cut them dang i'm really bad at this uh cutting okay there we go we got two of them three four we're gonna do five and then we'll roll this other dough in and make it. Okay, so then we'll roll this dough up. Aloha, everybody. <laughs> All right, so this is right here. You can also put a little bit of um, flour on your hands too. That's what I kind of did in the beginning when I was rolling it all out. So that way it doesn't like stick to me exactly. Stick to my hands and then we'll roll out this last little piece right here. If you have like a real rolling pin, <laughs> that would help. I do have one where it's at, I just don't know. Anyways, we're gonna try to make this into, I don't know, we might not be able to, we might have to do a little cut pizza for this one. Um, hi everyone, remember to hit that like, yes, exactly. Okay, so now you're gonna have these like strips like this. And I'm gonna do a couple different things. I know, um, so remember the mixture that I have of the butter. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of basil and um, oregano to that. Ooh, it pops. I gotta open this up. Let me put it on me so I'm not bending down. And then when I go back to making the roses, I'll put it down so you guys can see it again. Ah, sorry. <laughs> so I'm wearing these colors, you guys, this dress because um, it's actually coming up. Um, these were the colors of the school that I was at. So I wanted to show my support to the team. And they did really good. I'm really proud of them. They did really, really, really well. They blew Norco out of the water, you guys. They were doing really good. 
pizza. Jan Wolf, what did you tell me to make with the pizza? Did you tell me to make cookies or I forgot what you, what you had said. Okay, so this right here is basil. I just bought this. Anybody want to guess how much this was? It wasn't even expensive. I thought it was going to be expensive. You see, they're brand new, so I got to take off the... And you know what? I probably already had some in the cabinet, but I didn't want to get home and risk not having it, so I decided just to go ahead and get a new one. Arr! Wolf, wolf. Yeah, what kind of cookies, though? I remember you said... You said pizza. I was like, I think he said pizza and cookies, but I did it. I do have some chocolate chip cookies we can make, but Wolf Wolf, do you like cinnamon rolls? Will cinnamon rolls do? I got some cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls sound so good. I like to make them fresh in the morning, like with, um, with like coffee. That sounds so good, you guys. All right, so now I'm going to just add a little bit of the oregano into the mixture. And then there's also garlic in here as well. So this one has minced garlic. Rhonda De Sierra want to do um, to do the chocolate chip or the one chip challenge? No, I would not let Sierra do that. Miguelito, you're just all kinds of crazy. Cam, I'm trying to find out if they're gonna eat. If they are, then I'm gonna make it two of them. But if they're not, then I'll make one. Do you guys want pizza or are you after I make it or do you Yeah, it's just I don't know. Or are you gonna go to sleep? Um let's say that below. I still like pepperoni, that's the thing. Oh you don't like pepperoni? Yeah. Do you want me to make one with just cheese for you? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, um can you open this for me? Yeah, I have course. a hurt arm, so it's like if you can. If you're strong. I was trying to like see? It's hard, right? And I had like the butter on my hands. I didn't know you don't like pepperoni. Yeah, I still like it. Does Amelie like pepperoni? She does. Okay, so I'll make just yours cheese then, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Oh, that's smart. You're so smart. There was a plastic around it and I didn't even take that off. I didn't even realize it. You're really digging into it. Let me see if I can take it off now. Oh, that opened up so easily. <laughs> okay, just made she it listened in for me. Okay, okay, thank you so much. I'll let you know when it's done, okay? Thanks. Okay. All right, I don't know if it's gonna taste good, but we're gonna try, okay? All right, let's see. Um, all right, guys, so now I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, minced garlic into the mixture. And you know what I wish I had and I've been meaning to get, but I haven't, I don't have any, is, um, again, I'm gonna use one of these little baby spoons. Um, is I need to get one of those like paint brushes so it can brush like the top of, um, the top of the pizza so i'm making like a little sauce like this into the into the um butter you guys see it i don't know if you guys can see it. i don't want to push it too much because then it'll all fall out so all the spices are in there the garlic everything okay i can't wait for your next vegas trip Rhonda, sending positive thoughts on your oh thank you thank you thank you yeah she had um She's allergic to something, and so she had an anaphylactic situation going on. So that's why she's in the hospital. Um, okay, we're gonna put these, I'm gonna lay these out on the cutting board. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna do three at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, smear a little bit of this uh, mixture into the top. Let me see if I can put it. What's up, Neil? How are you? Good to see you. Wolf loves butter. Do you like garlic, Wolf Wolf? Oh, I see Neil. <laughs> you have all the eyeballs. It kind of sucks because I wanna like show you what I'm doing, but I also wanna be able to read. So I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna spread a little bit of the butter like on here. So if you guys have ever gone to, um, I'm gonna use this as my little paintbrush because I don't have one. That's one thing I do need to get. Um, but if you guys have ever gone to like Pyology or Blaze or Blaze Pizza and stuff like that, they can, they put the little mixtures on here. They also have like um, pesto at the store. I was thinking about getting out. I was like, pesto would sound good on here. But, um, all right. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of mixture 
before I put my sauce down. Now I'm, I'm just like tweaking the recipe. I'm doing my own little recipe. I don't know if this is like something that you guys would, would do, but this is what I would do because it just sounds a little bit more delicious with butter and garlic and oregano and basil. And I don't know. How many of you guys like that on your pizzas? So I'm just like kind of painting it on there. How's everybody doing? All right, woof, woof. I love rice with extra butter. Ooh. I used to eat rice with butter. You guys don't laugh at me, but I used to eat rice with butter um, and sugar and milk and cinnamon as a kid. That was before they found out I had a cinnamon allergy. <laughs> but you know what? I. I never have a, a an allergy to where like I stop breathing with cinnamon. It just makes me really, really itchy. And I don't know why it does that, but I love it. It's a good anti-inflammatory. So if you guys do like cinnamon, I would suggest like eating it, you know, here and there, especially if you have a lot of inflammation in your body. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and oh, I should have had Cam open this one too. Like even when I go to lift up like a jar or stuff, I can feel it. I have um, both tennis elbow and um, what's the other one? I have both of them <laughs> on both sides. Golfers, golfers elbow and tennis elbow. So here we go, just in this hand. Uh, is Noah here? Hi Noah, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. I'm gonna go ahead and get a bigger spoon because that one's just like one of the little baby spoons. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some sauce on here. I personally like a lot of sauce, but I don't know if I make too much sauce on it, it might be um, too like juicy and fall apart. So I'm just gonna try this out like with like a semi thin layer <laughs> of pizza sauce. Do you guys like a lot of sauce and a lot of cheese or do you guys like more meat? I don't want a dry pizza. I don't like dry pizza. So I'll put a little bit more. All right. I, I still need to put my new card on file for my music so I can't play any music right now. I haven't, I haven't had time to do it because I've been in the hospital but I'll try to do it um, tomorrow or this weekend sometime. Oh no, tomorrow I'll be in the hospital again too. So maybe this weekend I'll try to fix the whole thing with the music. So we can we can listen to some jams when I do my live streams. All right. So I don't know if you guys can see like so what I'm doing. They look like big strips of bacon. What's up Jetta? Mama Mia. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I don't know if it's gonna taste like your old grandma's recipe. This is just my own little recipe that I'm putting together here. I've never seen anybody do it like this. It's my own little simple thing. All right. So then now what I'm going to, going to do is I'm going to take some cheese. Because I like cheese. So I got two different types of cheese, remember. I got the shredded cheese and then I got also the um, mozzarella uh, sliced cheese. So what I'm gonna do is on the inside, I'm gonna put the sliced cheese and then on the top, I'm going to put um, the shredded cheese. So let me go ahead and put this. I'm gonna take these slices and since we don't need such a big slice, they're only two, um, like approximately two inches or less apart. I'm going to go ahead and just fold these um, in half and then that way it should fit pretty nicely in the lotted area that we have. So what's everybody been up to? I hope you're doing good. All right. So here we go, here's some cheese. So we're gonna just line this up going across. Wolf wants extra cheese? Yeah, I'm gonna put more cheese on the top of it. I like extra cheese too, Wolf Wolf. 
So now you guys have see, seen what I'm doing. I'm just gonna raise it up for a little bit until I can, uh, until I, I'm done and then you guys can see what I'm doing. Ooh, woof woof. This is very cheesy. I feel like this is um shrinking. Should I put two pieces of cheese for Wolf Wolf? Two pieces of half cheese? I think I'm gonna put these together and then just slice them with the pizza slicer. I think it would be much faster. So we'll go ahead and do that. That was a smart idea. I got four pieces in seconds. All right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and double up on the cheese for Wolf Wolf. I might make the, the roses turn out a little bit more ooey gooey, but that's okay. That is okay. All right. So if you're lactose intolerant, I don't know, is there some type of lactose cheese you can, you can use? I don't know, some fake cheese? There has to be some out there. Is anybody out there lactose intolerant? I am curious to know. I don't think I could marry a lactose intolerant man. I wanna cook with cheese all the time. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are slicing through this cheese very well. I'm trying to get this done. I'll at least try to do these. So Cam doesn't like um, pepperoni. So I'm actually gonna do one that doesn't have pepperoni um, for Cam, um, or maybe two for Cam that don't have pepperoni. Because, like, she, like I said, she doesn't like it. All right, here we are. I should have got two packages of this cheese. Wait, Wolf Wolf, I don't know if we're gonna be able to double up on your cheese over here. I think I need, I think I need the cheese. Okay, we're gonna undouble up. <laughs> My bad, Wolf Wolf, next time. Well, we'll still put more cheese like with the shredded. Hey, Weston, how are you? Good to see you, welcome to the chat. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, I'm making, um, I'm not making two pizzas. What I'm making is like little round roses. So they're like little baby pizzas, if that makes sense. So let me go ahead, um, let me show you. Okay, so maybe I should double up on the cheese for Cam um, since Cam doesn't want um, pepperoni. So the pepperoni, where did the pepperoni go? I, where did it go? The pepperoni is missing. Oh, here it is. I'm like, the pepperoni is missing. Hey, Balaban, how are you? Good to see you. We got 27 people in the chat. Do you guys think you can smash that thumbs up for me? I'd appreciate it. Please and thank you. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these pepperonis and I'm going to line them up at the edge, let me show you. Let me see if I can go down a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna line them at the edge of the pizza like this. This one has two pepperonis here. I will see if it comes out looking like a flower it's supposed to. We shall see. Hi, crying hippie, you came in. I thought you would be asleep. Cheer and blessings to all. Thank you so much, crying hippie, appreciate you. I hope all is well. I really don't like the way that pepperoni looks, so I'm gonna replace it. I don't know what was on it, but it looked funky to me. All right, so once you do this, I kind of like overlap the pepperonis just slightly. And then once you have that, you're gonna take the bottom half of it and you're gonna fold it up. Kind of looking like this, you see? I don't know if you guys can tell. So maybe I need to put it like at the very edge. Let me move them up slightly. 
so I have space. Next time I'm going to cut it just a little bit wider. So I have space. Again, you guys, this is my first time making this, so it's trial and error. <laughs> we'll see if it comes out okay. Right now, I think it's more error <laughs> than doing it. We'll see. All right, so once you have it flipped up like this, then you're going to roll it like almost like a cinnamon roll. Be like, roll out. Roll out. Oh man, my flowers falling apart already. So maybe it needs to be a little bit deeper. I think that next time we'll make it a little bit, a little bit wider. I mean longer. I mean wider. <laughs> so this is how it's gonna look. I don't know if you guys can see, but let me put this together kind of like this hi linda b oh sorry i'm not even in frame so that's how it looks you guys the little roses and once you have them there then you're gonna take your little um pan and you're gonna stick them in here except yeah there we go so I'm gonna just trial and error so like that, it looks like that. Does that make sense? All right. <laughs> so next time we know to make them fatter. So what I might do is like re-roll the other doughs that I have here into the dough I have already and then we do it like that. So let me try to do this one a little bit lower. Cause if I put them too close to the end, then they fall out the top. So we don't want that. What's up, Vegas Rebel? How's it going? Good to see you. Um, butter pan first. Yeah, uh, you could spray it with Pam. You could even put the little butter in there. I'm going to do it. I just had to. I was just kind of showing you guys and I put it in there. Mm. All right, let me get some more. I'm just gonna use like a little bit of this butter. You see the one I have already on the bottom? Just put a little bit in the bottom so these. I got enough to, to make uh, two things of dough worth. So hopefully. Uh, can I have half of a dozen? What's up Larry, how you doing? You want half a dozen? I'm gonna try to spread this one out slightly because I'm thinking it make, it's making it like too fat. So let me spread this out a little bit more so not overlap them as much as it was. Let's see if we can try this one better like that. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Can you guys see? Um, all right, here we are. Ah. So we'll go ahead and we'll roll this one up. Oh no, we're not rolling it up. I'm gonna push it up this way. Yeah, so maybe we need to make the two inches a little bit more like two inches. Maybe this was an inch and a half. <laughs> okay. And then we'll put this one in the thing. Either way, I'm sure they'll come out tasty. <laughs> Regardless if they look like roses or not. <laughs> They'll come out pretty tasty looking or tasting pretty good. This does not want to stay up. Okay, I'm gonna just have to roll it up as this dough is like really wanting to un <laughs> unroll. I'm sure you guys, those of you guys who are like bakers would do much better than myself. Like Gordon Ramsay that was in the chat earlier. <laughs> I'm sure he would know a way to get this dough to stay down. Oh my God, it's falling out. <laughs> this one is falling out. All right, here we go. Here we go, roses. You see? This is the rose. 
Every rose has its thorn. We should be playing Guns N' Roses right now. I'm gonna add extra um, cheese to the top. Let me take my butter mixture and add it in here. Okay, we'll move this one over here. Oh dear. Okay, there we are. We got the roses. Um, what is a diet, right? I don't know what a diet is either. <laughs> I just love food. How often do you get a cheat day on a diet, guys? If I were on a diet, I would say once a week would be um, a good average amount of cheat day. Okay. Let me move these down. Put another slice of cheese. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Look at this little baby pepperoni. I think they're kind of jipping us with this little piece of pepperoni. Look at the average size of a pepperoni and then the one they wanted to give us. I'm gonna write Hormel and tell them. What the hell? I think on the other ones, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to roll them out wider. I'll make those ones for Cam. Or you know what? I should have made this one for Cam. Let me make this one for Cam, you guys. Because Cam does not like pepperoni. So let me roll this up for Cam. No, let me put it in half. Let me roll this one. I didn't know that. Who doesn't like pepperoni? Does anybody else in here not like pepperoni? It's like it doesn't want to roll. This dough is very stubborn, you guys. Very, very stubborn. There we go. Uh, hi, Dave. How are you? Rhonda, some girls are bigger than others. Yep. That's another song by him. Gotta love him. I, I need to watch him like live. Actually, me and Michael actually had tickets to see him in concert. And then I got mad at Michael and he took some other girl. All right, this is a rose without, without pepperoni <laughs> for Cam. All right, let me put some butter in this one. Okay. You like pepperoni? So do I. All right. Next one. Let me get this one out. I'm gonna try to roll this one fatter. Oh, you know what? You know what I was gonna do? I was gonna um, I was gonna recut these so they're a little bit wider, just a lot, a little tad bit wider. Let me use a little more flour so it doesn't get all over my hands. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to roll this, roll it, roll it, roll it. Um, they're cool, Rhonda. My old roommate would love them. She's 92 now. Oh, you should, you should make some for her, and bring them to her if you're not roomies anymore. Oh my goodness, this one is like not wanting to really roll too much. <laughs> You see it? It's not wanting to roll. It just wants to shrink. Man, it must be feeling the cold. I don't know. Let me roll it with this dough. Uh, do you have Parmesan cheese? Yeah, I do. I could use a little bit of Parm on the top. I might one day. Well, you better not sleep on it too long. She's 92. Let me let me wet it a little bit. I think it's because it's not it's drying from the flour. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, don't wait on it too long. No, there is flour on the table, but I'm trying to um roll it out. It's not wanting to uh, it's not wanting to roll. I Pillsbury. <laughs> what is this Pillsbury brand? I should have just kept good enough alone, right? Okay. 
All right. Maybe I'll get one of them out of here. You see, it's not rolling. Roll, roll, roll your boat. No, just kidding. <laughs> Dave, I took a bit of a break for um, all medical income. Yeah. Mm. All right, y'all. This is this is like Rhonda versus Doe. <laughs> I need that other rolling pin. Who made a rolling pin like this size? It's crazy. I actually won this at a Tupperware party. What's up, Maffetone? How you doing? Good to see you in the chat. Oh man, this is being uh, very difficult. You see, you stretch it out and it shrinks back. Oh, I don't know if you guys are seeing what's going on here. You see? I don't know if you can see. All right, I'm gonna go out. <laughs> I just love making messes. Oh, this is not gonna be good. I don't know what to do. Well, anyways, these are the ones we have so far. <laughs> you guys, we might only end up with a couple of them. Here you go, but they're cute, right? I'm sure most of you Susie homemakers at home could do much better than myself. All right, we're getting this dough rolled. Breaking a sweat, rolling the dough. <laughs> there we go. All right, let me flip this over and roll this side. Oh, I think I need to put more flour on this one. Sticking on the rolling pin. All right, guys. Are you learning how not to roll down? Because I hope that that's, it's coming slowly but surely, right? You're rolling, rolling the dough. See, Sierra would have been all up in this dough, you guys. <laughs> You love her? What do you mean? You love who? Me? Just kidding. You probably don't love me. Who are we talking about? All right. This is like Rachel. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Rachel right behind the scenes. All right. I think I'm just going to make one out of this whole mess right here because... If I try to, isn't there a word called like kneading the dough? Like you knead it? Like you, I don't know. Wolf Wolf, there may only be one slice of pizza. <laughs> Who's going to get it? You or me? Which one? All right. I'm going to cut this dough. All right. We've got thin edges again. here all right I made this one a little fatter you see guys you see it fat let's see if it'll stretch some because it wanted to shrink on me it was like it was like being out in the cold shrinking everywhere okay I'm gonna add my mixture of butter again butter oregano basil all that good stuff and then the pizza sauce. So I never, I never see if you, uh, the fatter the better. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Rolling it out. I like big pieces. All right, so we got that. Next thing we're going to do is get the sauce, sauce. So you could actually add a little bit of like oregano and parsley on the top of the um, the roses as well. So here's the sauce. Go ahead and sauce it up. So I like a lot of sauce. Some people don't even like sauce. I actually used to know somebody that would get pizza without cheese. 
I was like, pizza without cheese is not pizza. I don't know. Make it whiter. Yeah, on the next batch, I'll try to make them a little bit whiter. I'll make enough for, let's see, for two, for us to have two each. And then we'll have cinnamon rolls and some of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these pieces of cheese. And let me cut this one in half. See, it's shrinking again. I gotta like hold them to stretch them out like a worm. <laughs> uh, what that is like getting cornflakes without the milk. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Y'all are cray cray. All right, we're getting this pepperoni down right here. Yum, yum, give me some pepperoni. How many of you guys like sausage on your pizza? I'm gonna make my pizza a little bit different, you guys. I'm gonna make mine with bell pepper. This is for the, the, the girls though, these ones. I'm gonna make mine different. All right, let me roll this. Oh, maybe if I like, Flip it up slightly and then roll it. Or maybe I flip it up as I'm rolling. Alright. Flipping it up, rolling it out, flipping it up, rolling it out, flipping it up. All right. <laughs> you guys, I just thought of something bad. It looks more like a vagina than a, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But it looks more like a vagina than a, than a, uh, yeah, no. All right, remember we're gonna <laughs> take the butter. We're gonna butter the little pan area and sit it in the little hole. There we go. All right. Next one. Let me, it looks like a flower. I think the first two look more like a flower than the last one because I couldn't roll it out well. <laughs> Anyways, let me wash my hands and then I'll start on my, hold on. There's a little, there's a little dough right here. Maybe we could make a little like um, cup of pizza. <laughs> a veggie. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Oh my gosh. They always say if you, if you end up losing it, you don't want to have somebody touch your flower, right? Well, here's a new meaning of don't touch my flower. Don't eat my pizza. <laughs> you guys are silly. All right, here's this. Oh, here's some more dough. Let me put this dough in here. All right. I feel like I'm playing with Play-Doh. Uh, in that case, what? In that case, Rhonda put extra... <laughs> You don't want a dry pizza in that case, right? <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Oh my god, you guys have me cracking up over here. You also could put a little bit of flour on your rolling pin as well, you guys, so it doesn't stick on there. And I put a little bit of flour on my purse as well. Oops, my bad. All right. I'm just gonna make a little cup with this one and see if we can make a a cheesy one. There we go. Oh, bunch of parties! Like, hey, you guys, we should come up with a whole bakery, a bakery making flowers <laughs> for 
that type of thing. Oh my gosh, one time I had a, a party and um, I had like peaches, like peach halves, and then I put cherries in the peach halves and then whipped cream all around it for everybody. Um, <laughs> and then the guys, I got bananas and I put like little whipped cream balls and then like I had to, I tied the, the hands of the people behind their back and then I blindfolded them and whoever ate it all gone first, like it was races. It was for like, um, it was actually a party that I had like a, like a toy party. That was so fun. I had so much fun at that party. I got so wasted. I had like deaf people there, Spanish speaking people there. I had, um, and then English speaking. So I was speaking Spanish and then I was, I was speaking sign language and then I was speaking, um, English, but I was speaking, I was speaking like Spanish to the English people doing sign to the Spanish people. It was, it was a hot mess. <laughs> it was so cute. It was a cute little party. It was for Halloween. So everybody came like dressed up in, um, different costumes and stuff. I wish this pizza dough Pillsbury, Pillsbury, I wish you would roll just a little bit better. Okay. All right. I think this is good enough to put in this little area right here. We'll make a little cup, a pizza cup. <laughs> we'll do that one for Cam. <laughs> and then we'll put our little socks. All right. There we go. Anyways, wolf, 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 no bananas for, you don't like banana wolf, wolf? How do you not like the best things, bananas and pineapple? You do not like that? How do you not like it? That does not make any sense <laughs> at all. All right, so we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna fill cams with um, shredded cheese. Let me go ahead and open this one. Okay. Okay, so there's that's open. Let me put some sauce. And you said put extra sauce, right guys? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, we'll put some sauce for Cam. And then over the sauce, we'll put lots of cheese. What's up, Alex? How are you? Hello, nurse. <laughs> hey. All right, so we're putting lots of cheese. Should we put more cheese inside of the... Hi, Paul Martinez. Extra bananas for Wolf Wolf? Okay, so should we put... Should we put some cheese inside of the roses? Or should we just leave the roses like this? There already is cheese in there, but should we put extra cheese? Let me know. All right, while we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and open up this other Whopping Biscuit right here. Let's see. Maybe I'll have enough for us all to have three. Because there's three of us. So that means I need to have nine. So I'm going to open up this other one. I'm sure if you make your own dough, it'll be much better. But yeah. These biscuit poppers scare me, right? Me too. Me too. All right, you wanna just stretch the dough. Stretch it really good. Really good stretch because we wanna get a lot of dough. We wanna make that a really long and nice and happy looking. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, this is fun. I never thought I'd have such fun on baking roses. Making rose. All right, let me move this over. <laughs> We're about to be an elephant's trunk real soon. Woo, it's stretching that much. I love it. Alex, what did you say? I love, what did Alex say? I mean, it's ruffle. Yeah, I'm old. Wait, what? Extra cheese is good, but it will hide what? <laughs> 
hide the effect of the rose. Yeah, that's what I think it will too. All right then, we won't do that extra. Okay, let me move this out. I'm trying to get this to uh, to stretch so, so I don't have to roll as much. Okay, let me move my stuff out of the way. Uh, watch it there, Rhonda. It might become a new food. <laughs> right? It might. I'll be like, Whoa. no, I'm, <laughs> I'm playing, guys. All right, let me try to find the end so I can open it up. Hmm. I think it's right here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a lot. I feel like once the dough hits the air, it wants to shrink. <laughs> oh my goodness. New Vegas show, Rhonda rolls. Hop the dough. <laughs> hey, I want to roll out real dough like money. That'd be nice. Okay. You guys are so silly. <laughs> and bananas. Paul's putting bananas in there for Wolf Wolf. Wolf Wolf says no bananas. I love bananas. I don't know. There are people that don't like them. My ex-boyfriend, he used to hate bananas. And I'm like, why do you eat them? And he's like, oh, because it's good potassium. And I was like, you could just get potassium other ways. You don't need to eat a banana. You know what I mean? All right, so we're gonna roll the dough again. She's always doing stuff like this. What, what am I doing? What am I doing stuff like this? Rolling dough? All right. It wasn't supposed to be that kind of live stream, y'all. <laughs> supposed to be a nice little roses for wolf. <laughs> and look what y'all made it into. We're rolling the dough. It's because of where he was putting the bananas. Oh, shoot. What are we talking about now? No, he didn't like bananas at all. He's like, I don't like the texture of them. I don't, it just never made sense to me. I was like, why eat them then? I don't know. Whatever floated his boat, I guess. So I need, uh-oh, I just sh shredded the dough <laughs> with my nail. Oh dear. A veggie roll. <laughs> Shh. You guys. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Okay, I'm going to roll it out this way. Make it nice and flat. And I'm gonna make these roses like a little bit more thicker. Uh oh. I think I rolled it too thin, y'all. Oh man. This is fun. This is really fun. Okay. Let's see here. Let me see if I can roll this dough in here. I'm trying to make it so it'll be like flat. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll this dough. Uh, where are the single good looking Latinas in the chat? I'm dead. Rebel. Rub will be a bad boy over there. Okay, so I'm just cutting off the ends so it will have straight ends. Okay, we're gonna make this one some fat, fat ones. Okay, so this is fatter, fatter than it was. Let's go ahead and put this one here. Okay. 
Okay. I need... I don't know if we're gonna have enough for three each. I'll need two if need be. I'll give the kids three. another one out of the rest of the dough here. Okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot to plug in my phone, so let me do that. I have a battery charger in here. Okay. My phone is, like, going to die. I'm going to use uh, bell peppers on this one. So I'm going to wash my hands, you guys. And then I'm going to um, cut up the bell pepper on mine. I want mine to have bell pepper in it. Just give it a little bit extra flavoring. Let me see if I can plug you guys in before I lose you. Hopefully it doesn't get lost. Let me throw some of this away. Some of the trash. Uh, let's go. All right, so here's the last one. I need to make another one for Cam. So I'll take the thinnest one and use that one for Cam. So let me go ahead and do that. So let me go back to showing you guys. Sorry about that. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Okay, and I can still read the chat. I don't know if I made enough butter mixture. Hopefully I did to get us through three more. Um, after a few drinks, Rhonda will get her Latina accent going for me. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. Everybody always says I speak with a Latina accent anyways. I don't know if it's a Latina accent per se, but it's weird because when I go like to Arkansas, they're like, are you from the Midwest? And I'm like, no. But when I go to Hawaii, they're like, are you from Hawaii? Just depends on where I'm at. You guys are so quiet. Extra cheese for Cam. Oh, extra cheese for Cam or extra cheese for Wolf Wolf? Which one? I put I put Cam with the cheese over there. I'm gonna actually put more cheese, like shredded cheese, on her rose right here. On her rose, rose. I don't have um. I could put Parmesan on the top too. I have Parmesan cheese. Okay, I'm gonna put extra cheese for Cam on that one. Thank you for reminding me, Wolf Wolf. I want to make sure Cam's good, right? With all of her cheese. All right. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and start the oven. I'm going to preheat it to 425. And it says to leave it for 15 minutes, but I'm going to check it like in about 12 minutes. So let me go ahead and put the oven on. Let me bake. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it at 400. It says, um, oh no, I'll do it for 25. I think I'm just gonna do it for, I think I'm gonna do it for less time, 12 minutes instead of 15, like they said, just to check them, make sure they're not burning. Cause you know, different ovens are different. I used to live with um, this family and they had this like, what do you call it? A conventional oven or no, not conventional oven, but like a, it had like, where it cooked like really good. So, um, sorry, I don't know if you guys can see. <clears throat> All right. You might be able to get one more thing of 
butter done with this, but, but I doubt it. So Wolf Wolf, are chocolate chip cookies what you like or you wanted some other kind of cookie? Let me know. And I didn't ever saw if you like cinnamon rolls or not. I'm gonna have to make a little bit more of this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and cut this cheese here. Not literally cut the cheese, but cut the cheese. I will literally cut the cheese, not cut the cheese. Like, <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. So now I have four slices of my cheese. Hey, Richard Vinnie, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, Wolf like I uh, loves chocolate chip cookies. Okay, I have I have some chocolate chip cookies, Wolf. So we can make you some chocolate chip cookies too, with the cinnamon rolls. I'll see how much chocolate chip cookies I have left. I don't know if I have a lot left, but some is better than none. All right, I'm just gonna spread out this cheese a little bit and we'll add some more of the shredded one because I don't have the, any more of the flat one. I didn't realize that I was gonna go through so much making this. I could have bought two packages. All right, so we got that. Let's get out the pepperonis. Oh, I forgot to put the sauce. Sauce, we need sauce. I should have put the sauce before the cheese, y'all. That's okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. We'll make it right. All right. All right. Now I'm going to put out the pepperonis. Oh, you guys are not even seeing what I'm doing. Here, let me do it. Oh, a convectional. That's what it was. It's a convectional oven. Thank you. That kind of oven is awesome, you guys. A convectional oven. If you have never cooked in a convectional oven, you are missing out. That shit makes your food taste bomb. All right, so this one is a little bit wider. I should put the cheese up higher. I think I'm learning as I'm doing this. Okay, I'll put the cheese up higher. We could probably give it, serve it with some dipping sauce too. Some, some, um, what do you call it? Some pizza sauce. All right, so I'm gonna roll this one up in just a second. Bingo? <laughs> Are we doing bingo? We're gonna be doing bingo at the la the last day of the month. And those of you guys, um. that uh, you still need to be paid out. I'll, I'll have to look for the list and see who I owe what. So I can get you guys that. I just haven't had a chance since I've been back home. I've been super busy. All right, so as you can see, this is much easier when I can roll it up. Um, I can put it up It's when it's a little bit wider. So I suggest maybe making it like three inches instead of two. And then we'll go ahead and roll it. And as you're rolling, you want to make sure the bottom doesn't fall out and then the, the top. <clears throat> um, doesn't squeeze out the pepperoni all the way. All right, here you go. Here's your rose, y'all. You see it? All right. Now I'm going to butter this pan. I'm going to have to get more butter out. Hold on, let me cut more butter. I'll make some more mixture. Let me make some more butter here. I don't think I need too, too, too much more. And let me go ahead. I'm gonna just melt this in the microwave. Not like till it's like pure, like liquid, but like slightly softer. Hold on, give me a second. So right now the oven is pre 
preheating and it'll be ready just in time for me to get this done. How's everybody? What's up, Las Vegas? Hi, guys. So I'm just going to get this consistency. I'm going to add a little bit of the oregano again and the uh, basil. <laughs> there, that's getting good. Okay, basil leaves again. I feel like I'm back in a home ec class. <laughs> you know, I never took that. I don't even know if they offered it at my school. I think you had to go off campus to get that kind of stuff. It was crazy. I was just talking today about how we didn't have a lacrosse team. I didn't even have, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in it, you guys. We didn't have a lacrosse team. We didn't have um, a swim team. We didn't have all different kinds of things. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this in here. And then. Okay, I dig it. Cheers, puff puff pass. Are you guys smoking weed over here? Low key, I think my neighbor was smoking weed. I was like, what the hell? I came home and that shit smelled like weed in my house. I was like, what the heck? Let me put the the rose over here. I put a little bit of butter in here. Okay. That one came out better. All right, here we go. We have Cam's rose with no pepperoni. And then the other rose is here. <laughs> so we'll try them out. And then I'm gonna brush out the outside of the, um, the dough too. Okay, next thing's next. We'll go ahead and put the sauce next on this one. Spreading that all out. This has been kind of like a fun little activity. Um, yes, they need to learn how to do stuff like this. The kids nowadays, I think that they should. I think like if I had it all over to do again, I would have taken like auto shop and all these classes that, um, okay, this one's gonna be for Cam, so this one's not gonna have any pepperoni on it. I'll just put cheese, a lot of cheese. I have another package of cheese too. I brought, I bought another package of shredded cheese. So I wouldn't run out. gonna be our next uh, song. Rhonda's roadies and roll out. Roll out. Let me put this on here. Oh. All right. This one right here. Who are you making these for, uh, Rhonda? Um, for me and for two of my my roommates' kids, they're here with me. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of this one. Oh man, 
They might be asleep by the time I get it done. They got to school in the morning. I'm glad that I have enough sauce to go around. All right. So we need two more essentially. So we'll make this one and then we'll make one more. We might have to make that one a cup though because I don't know if there's enough dough for that one. Okay, let me go get the other cheese out because I'm gonna need the other bag. I'm gonna put this in, line it all up. Extra cheese for Wolf Wolf. Or he says Cam. <laughs> I'm gonna make another cheese. Another package of cheese. Okay. Would be cool. Prego is good. You like Prego? They had like ragu. This one is finely shredded cheese. Um, the other one is just regular shredded cheese. I'm gonna put a lot of cheese. Maybe we could put a little bit of finely shredded cheese in the roses. Put a little bit of finely ones here. All right. I'm gonna put some finely shredded cheese on the top of these ones too. All righty. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and lay out this pepperoni on the top here again. I know a little bit repetitive, but it's okay. He crapped his pants, um, begging me to get back in because I didn't want to drive down the road alone towards it. Wait, towards what? I'm missing a lot in this chat. <laughs> you guys are silly. Slightly overlap the pepperonis. Separate them. I'm gonna fold them up. And then I'm gonna roll out one more dough. Oh, sorry, you guys are not seeing what I'm doing. You guys should tell me. Here, there you go. All right, here we go. Go ahead and roll it up. All right, here it goes, the rose. Oh. Alright. Last dough, let's roll it out and get it done. Done and over with. Yes, it is. Wait, what? Anna is fine. I bet she has a man. Aw. Anna. You have an admirer in the chat, Anna. Anna. Anna's a sweetheart, you guys. If you don't know Anna, you need to get to know her. Anna's the best. So I think we might have to do like a... Let me get a little bit more flour and put it on this one. Roll it out. All right, we're back to rolling dough. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Single pretty Latina women stand up. <laughs> hey, raise your hand. 
If you're a single pretty Latina woman, get it. That's what he's looking for. I might like unroll those and put one pizza dough. Uh, put one with um, roses. What do you guys think? And then just do a cup for Kim. I think I'm gonna do that. Cause I, I don't have a, um, a, what do you call it? way to make those go out. Okay. Let me put some more cheese. Anne wants to go to Horneyville. Who's Anne? You mean Anna? Anna? You guys are so silly. Okay, put these pepperonis down. Some of these pepperonis, like they're like thinly sliced, but like they're so thin, like they didn't get the whole slice. Does that make sense? Like they cut off the end of it. It looks like we're gonna use a whole package. So this this thing took two things of um, pizza dough, and then it also took a whole package of pepperoni, pretty much. If we're gonna do them all with pepperoni, I did like a couple without without um, pepperoni though. So I have a little bit extra left over. But if you're doing it. doing it I'm sure that you'll use pepperoni okay so for me I'm gonna put a little bit of bell pepper I don't know if I'm gonna use all the bell peppers just a little slice of bell pepper let's see on the cutting board I'm gonna uh, wash this but I'm gonna take off the sticker first All right, give me a second, y'all. I'm gonna wash this bell peppers, and then I will be back. I'm just gonna cut a little portion off of each one. Wolf Wolf, do you like bell pepper? Is Wolf Wolf in here? I don't know if Wolf Wolf's in here, but I wanna know if he likes bell pepper. I know he doesn't like pineapple. We already discussed that. I hate how they like, oh, there we go. They put the little stickers on them. You like red bell pepper? I like a combination of all of them. I feel like they have their own each, like individual flavor. Okay, I'm gonna be back. Let me wash these up and I'll be right back. to um, plant the sweet ones I think if, if I just take a little slice like this this should be good um, hey Chloe unicorn Chloe can you send me your address again please um, so I can mail you your turtle that I got you in Africa and you guys don't all be sad I didn't buy you something she happened to be on the stream and asked me and I said sure I'll get it for you so all right, so I got a little piece of each one, so I'm just gonna cut them up really quick. 
and I'm going to add my bell pepper into the mix on mine. I hope you're doing good, Chloe. Alright, so I cut up a little bit of bell pepper there. Can you guys see? I'm sorry, I keep putting it up because it's easier for me to read when it's up. So I'm doing like that and then I'm just slicing the bell peppers like this. Slice them the long way and then I turn them the other direction and slice them the other direction. Hoping that I won't get my finger nail in there because I don't want the paint to come off my nails. You know the things us women have to think about when cooking and cleaning and all that good stuff. So there's that, I got a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the green, and here's a little bit of the red. Okay. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of each of them in there. Was Wolf Wolf still in the chat or no? Did he leave? probably tired okay so I have the three different colors they're lined up um, back hurts from putting on a long johns and pants Aww. okay so now you guys see wolf is here wolf will eat bell peppers on pizza okay cool all right wolf wolf we're gonna put you some bell peppers in so I'm gonna I'm gonna place it underneath the pocket you see how I rolled it up some so I'm going to go ahead and just place some bell peppers like under the pocket right here. Actually, I probably should have done that before rolling them up. I'm going to put a mixture of all colors in here. Because I like me some bell pepper. I actually like onion on here too, but I didn't pick up an onion. I do have onion in the fridge, but do you guys like um, red onion or yellow onion on your pizza? So it's gonna, this one's going to be like a deluxe one without the olives. Do you guys like olives on your pizza? How about that? Okay, so this, this one's going to go up and over. Up and over, up and over, up and over. Steve Hall says, oh, hi. Uh, you're bored. Sorry, just cooking. Cooking is not always like fun to watch. All right, y'all, oh, here we go. Here comes the flower again. This flower is fat because I put a lot I'll bell pepper in it. You see it? The flower? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put some butter in there. Let's see if I can put it. Alright. Oh, that one doesn't even fit in the hole, you guys. I think I made that one so fat. Well, at least I know which one it will be mine. All right, one last one, y'all, and then we're done. No veggies. Oh no, no veggies, por favor. You don't want veggies. You just like the cheese and the bell pepper. Sorry. Never say no to cooking. Yeah, then your woman won't feed you. If if you say no to her cooking. Here we go. This one is gonna end up being like a little pot. I think that they're gonna be asleep by the time I'm done. It's like late already. They'll probably sleep already. I can have it tomorrow when they wake up. 
Okay, I'm gonna make this one into like a little um, cup. All right, so I'm gonna put this one in this side right here. I think it's kind of big. I'm gonna cut it into two. I'm gonna make two of them. I think that's better. The other one was like too thick of crust, even though you guys like those dipped deep dishes. Are you in Big Bear? No, I'm not in Big Bear. I'm not in Big Bear at all. Yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna put some more butter in this one. I need one of those brushes though that where you could brush the butter in there. That's better, it works better than a little baby spoon. <laughs> CN15, are you gonna be back? Are you still cutting that meat? Was it you that was cutting that meat? <laughs> They're not coming out as good as I wanted. They, some of them, I put cheese on the top. Some of them came out like roses, but I haven't cooked it yet. Yours is just gonna be cheese. These, <laughs> these three are yours. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, cool. I'll I didn't know if you guys were still awake. No, I am. I always have to wake her up. <laughs> she says, wake her up? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna be edible. We're gonna try it though. Yeah. All right. All righty. Here's a swiss. Okay, and then we'll put some cheese. It uh, looks good. Shout out to Laguna Beach, my favorite beach town. I like Laguna too. My little nephew got married in Laguna. So much fun. All right, y'all. I know like it'll ruin the effect of the roses if I put a lot of cheese, but I kind of want to put more cheese, so I, I'm sorry that the effect of the roses might not be the best. But you can do it without as much cheese, and then you can have them blossom open very nicely. Okay, y'all. Some of these are not roses, like I said. Put this in the pan. Some of them are monstrous. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put them in the oven and we'll check them out. So let me put them in the oven, give me a second. I'm gonna put them on top of a, a baking dish. So that way if it spills over, it'll spill onto the baking dish instead of my oven. Oh. And I'm gonna take a little bit left of this butter and I'm gonna put it on the outsides of the exposed dough. So let me do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put Sorry, I know it's not in frame for you guys to see. So I apologize. My hands are all I'll make this last dough stick it in there really quick. All right. 
gonna be like a little cup. We'll put the dough in. Okay, I'll be back. All right, sorry, I'm making it in the oven. I forgot to put that little piece in. <laughs> Shout out to Heidi Flies. What the hell? Didn't she do like trafficking and shit? All right, let me get some cheese. And I'll put some in there. What inspired this late night pizza? Oh, Wolf Wolf actually. Wolf Wolf said he wanted pizza, so I'm ma making him pizza. <laughs> All right. Biggest you. Oh, she's your girl. What? I hope not. Isn't she in jail? She should be in jail if she's not there. All right, let me put this back in. We're gonna set a timer for, timer for 12 minutes. Oh, hold on. Timer. Well, start. Okay, so it's in there for 12 minutes. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna open these whopping cinnamon rolls. We'll get this started. Oh, you know what? I should put these little bell peppers in the top of that one. And some pepperonis. And the top of the one I just threw in there. Hold on. how these babies are gonna come out but we'll try it okay I'm gonna put these pep um, bell peppers in the plastic Rhonda let's see the the ring what ring I don't have a ring if you like it then you gotta put a ring on it <laughs> Is this in Vegas? No, it's not in Vegas. All right, so while that's in there cooking, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and then we'll start the cinnamon rolls once the pizza comes out. Again, this is my first time making it like this, so if they don't come out, they don't come out. But I'm trying. I know how to make just regular pizza. I don't know about these flowers or these vaginas. <laughs> there we go. All right. Jetta says, this is a wholesome chat. Absolutely. <laughs> nice and wholesome. Always. Exactly, Jetta. We gotta find you a girl then. You won't be bored. <laughs> you can buy some uh, 
buy some roses for Anna. And then she'll, uh, come chill with me, maybe. <laughs> All right. Next time I'll try to have music too on in the background. <laughs> I have to get that up and running again. It's crazy because like, okay, so I had, I had my bank card and then I don't know if you guys remember, um, there was fraud on my bank card. And so I had a new bank card issued to me. So when it went to go rebill the, um, the Amazon music, it billed it to my old card, but my old card was closed down. So I gotta put it in the new card. Anna is over me, I'm dead. Steve Hall says, oh, Anna. Anna, you're over here breaking hearts, girl. Breaking them hard. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff in the sink, hold on. <laughs> So I'm gonna start preparing these cinnamon rolls. I don't know if the kids like cinnamon rolls, so I'm not sure if I should make them all or not, because I'm not gonna be able to eat them all. Cam, do you guys like cinnamon rolls? The mother's gonna kill me that she was up. I'm trying to find But they were up late on a school night because I'm trying to feed them. Wait, let me make it this way. It's hard when you have nails, you guys, to do anything. <laughs> anything, like get out of parking garages. Thanks to Bob, now I can hopefully get out. Oh, that shit popped. <laughs> They're always popping. Once you pop, you can't, you can't, you can't stop. I love the icing in these cinnamon rolls. They're so good. Do you know I should have read the instructions before I popped it? Oh shit, how long am I supposed to bake these for? Dear Lord, where's the thing I just threw away? Oh. <laughs> My bad. I guess we'll cook until then. No, it says heat oven to 350 degrees, round square pan. Place rolls, mine's not gonna be a round one. Okay, bake for 23 to 27 minutes or until golden brown. So we'll put it in for 23 and then we'll check it. Uh, bake one to two minutes less for a non-stick pan. Okay, so I'll do 23. Spread with icing. All right, these are the grand ones. So let's go ahead and Grease up the pan. Let me see if I have some Pam. Hold on. All right, here's some Pam. I don't know if there's any left. All right. Woo! We all do that. What's up, Noeli? Welcome to the chat, everybody. Sorry if I'm missing your guys' comments. It's because I'm over here trying to be wholesome and cook wholesome stuff <laughs> just kidding all right damn these cinnamon rolls popped open and then they went all over the place it's like they're cut together these are like uh what is that cinnamon roll please you want cheesecake <laughs> Wolf Wolf, did you say you like cinnamon rolls? I didn't even I didn't even get to see whether or not he likes cinnamon rolls. I asked him, but so I'm rolling these out. I don't know if the kids want them or not, but I'm gonna make them anyways. There's only one problem. There's there's five cinnamon rolls and there's three of us. So that means 
Somebody's up Shake Creek, one cinnamon roll less. I've been watching pizza videos lately and the title of the word pizza is so YouTube suggested. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. So we're making, we're making a flour pizza and cinnamon rolls. So here's how the cinnamon rolls look, you guys. They smell good. I love the way cinnamon smells. Even though I'm allergic to it, I love the way it smells. So good. I know they're not from scratch, you guys. If you guys are asking if they're from scratch, no. I didn't have time I, to do all that from scratch shit today. Nope, no, ooh. I gotta get the icing out of here. I feel like, how many of you guys feel like the icing needs to be like double the amount that they give you? They wanna give you for five cinnamon rolls, like a half a tub of this shit. Half tub. Come on, Pillsbury. Inflation, you rose your prices. At least give us what we need to cover our cinnamon roll. Come on. At least. That's the least you could do. All right. So remember, you guys, 350 for 23 minutes minimum. Cinnamon, oh, Cinnabon, there you go, Lisa J. That's what it was, Cinnabon. You guys, smash that thumbs up if you can, please, or thank you. I know it's the middle of the night, but we're still trying to get those likes anyways. All right. You got extra icing? I bet you do. Y'all getting a little freak a leak up here in the nighttime. It's gonna be adult stream. Adult, uh, after dark food porn cooking. <laughs> you guys are bad. All right. Let me go ahead and wipe all of this down because Lord knows ain't nobody gonna help me clean it up. So I will do the cooking. The cooking, the cleaning, the buying, the unloading, the everything. Just hit the thumbs up. All right, thank you so much. Even though you're bored, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh man, this flower is going everywhere. Okay, all purpose flower. I'm gonna put this in a bag. I'm just gonna throw away this part of it. Uh -oh. Okay, awesome. 41 likes, thank you guys. That's nice of y'all. Oh, you're not with, bored with me or my channel? What are you bored with then? Are you bored because Anna, Anna didn't give you your number? Or where's she at? Anna, are you in the chat? Anna probably fell asleep. Anna's tired. Anna has to be up early. <laughs> All right, you guys have me laughing so hard though. All right, so let's put these here, this one in the middle. All right, we're good. Let me put this stuff away. While we're waiting for the pizza to cook. And we'll see the finished product. Well, hopefully we'll see the finished product. Oh. Let me go ahead and, we got 16 seconds left, you guys. Okay, let me see what they come out looking like. Let me wash my hands so I can get them off. Let me see how it 
I'm gonna cook it for like a few more minutes, you guys, because it did say cook it 15 minutes, so I'm gonna cook it for three more minutes. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna cook it for three more minutes. That'll give me time to clean up this mess. And then I will have a spot to take them out and put them. Give me just a moment. Towel. Just gonna clean all this up. I have pizza and kitties or pizza and dogs. Is that a dog or a cat? Oh, pizza and kitties <laughs> because of what we were talking about. You guys are bad. I'm not sure these are gonna come out looking like flowers, y'all. They might come out looking like uh, used up flowers. <laughs> Taking the first layer of dirt off, I'll clean it all up later. Like really clean it thoroughly. I just want a spot so I can put the pizza so I can show you guys. Steve says, I do wish I had some pizza right now. You can come get some. Just watch out. They got the knife to ice. I should get like a butter knife. That would be better. All right, so three minutes is up. Let's take these out of the oven and see how they turned out, y'all. Okay. Let me get them out. Give 
give me a second. Let me stop this timer. The cheese melted everywhere. If I could take it out and put it on a on a plate, maybe like I need a spoon better. Give me a second. I'll show you right now. Let me see if I can take it out. Let's show you what it looks like. They look like this. So the, the ends of them got a little bit sharp roiled. <laughs> but let me put it on the plate. So this is how it looks. Can you guys see? <laughs> they came out looking like that. The rest of them look like just cheesy, like really cheesy, <laughs> like extremely cheesy. I think you're supposed to like let them sit for a second to like settle in but yeah I don't know here's another another one <laughs> let me see if I can I don't know if they need like more time or not but there's another one <laughs> kind of hard to like take them out to show you I don't know should we try it all right let me take them out for cam I feel like they might need like even a few more minutes in there to be honest with you this one looks done but I think I'm gonna put them in for a few more minutes. More time, more burnt, the better. <laughs> in my, I like burnt cheese to be honest with you too. But I think I'm gonna put them in just a slightly bit longer time. So maybe like three minutes. Let me put it in fake. 425. Let me get the oven back up to 425 again. Timer, three, oh, oh. So let me get these on here. I know I like it. I like it kind of crispy too. Mm. Especially if the pepperoni is more crispy. All right, let me put them on here so I can put them back in the oven for just a tad bit longer. Yes, more time. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in. Oh. All right. In the meantime, I'm gonna try this one. I left one out. I'm gonna try one and see how it tastes. You want one? Take a bite. <laughs> Not bad. It tastes very doughy to me. 
to me, I like cooked crust better. I mean, not cooked crust. What am I trying to say? Thin crust. This is good. Mmm. There might be... What? I can't read what it says. Might be something. Oh, dairy-free cheese for vegetarians. You mean for lactose intolerant? Mmm, I bet that would be good off its own. The croissant though. Mmm. That sounds good. Man. This is like so big, I might only need one. For vegans? Yeah, for vegans? Oh, because they don't eat dairy product. We were watching this stream for an hour ago. You haven't been chatting? You've been just watching? Man, I can't believe I'm eating my dinner like this late at night. Which stream were you watching? Mine or somebody else? Mmm. The cinnamon rolls sound good now. Just a nice topper to end the night. <laughs> so you can sleep on all that fat you're throwing down. Mmm. The um, pepperoni is nice and crispy though. I really like it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I should get like a, a fork and eat it like that. It would probably be better. Hey, Big Mike. Okay, I'm going to start putting all this away. Oh my goodness. What is it? Linda B says, good night, Rhonda. I'm going to try um, those sometime, but with um, Trader Joe's pizza. Yeah, the Pillsbury ones, I wouldn't suggest because I tried to like pull it and it like goes shorter when I pull it. Yeah, the crust will probably make a lot of difference. And if you make like homemade crust, I think it would be so much better. But like I said, I was like busy tonight. So I didn't get home until late, so I was like, let me just buy the crust instead of making it. It's much easier that way. Tell her to save you one. I'll make him some. I make him food all the time, Moffatone. I just made him food the other night, too, when he came over. And he ate it all up. It was all gone. And you know who always has me... <laughs> If you guys know who Dan vs. World is all the time, he calls me like all the time. He's like, are you making dinner tonight? Are you making dinner? <laughs> mm. I'll save you one too, Moffatone. I'll ship it all the way to Jersey. Mm. I bet Sarah would want one too. I've never tried Trader Joe's... Um, Joe, but I have to. Trader Joe has really good food. I like their food. If you guys have never tried it before, you're welcome. <laughs> mm. It says. 45 seconds left. Jersey has good pizza. Does it have better pizza than um, New York? Let me know. Okay, this is just straight cheese right here. 
It looks like dough, but it's cheese. You have to travel to Vegas for good pizza? Where's your favorite place to get pizza in Vegas? Is it, um... <clears throat> is it, like, Evil Pie? Or... Oh, my God. My favorite place I went was with um, Shoeshine Boxing and Bella. He got this, like... I think it was Detroit-style pizza. Oh, my God. It was so bomb. Or was it Sicilian? I don't I don't know what it was, but it was so good. Miguelito, you're with us. Remember when you ate the cannoli? That shit was bomb. The bomb did me. everything I'm gonna put these cinnamon rolls in and after I'll ice them uh shout out to the green door here in Vegas I'm dead you know what me and Mikalito actually drove to the outside of that one time that was crazy I wanted to see who was going in there <laughs> I didn't see anybody go in though not even one person did I see. Not even one. Have you been there before, Vegas Rebel? Let me know. Uh, Esther has a great pizza too. Esther's? I've never been to Esther's. Is that is that the place we were supposed to go to, um, Lisa J, or was that somewhere else? I forgot the name of the place we were supposed to go. Was that it? The one in um, the arts district. I went. I went there, but I didn't eat there. I just left. Man, as many times as I start cleaning up, there's still more food everywhere. We got it all over the place, but I want to clean it up because otherwise Sierra will come in here and try to eat it all up. Yes, I owe you. No, you don't owe me anything, Lisa. That's fine. I understand. Stuff comes up. It is what it is. You know, life happens, you know? If I was held to everything I said I was going to do, like I say, oh, I'm gonna go live tomorrow night, let's say, for example, then things come up, you know? Sometimes I can't go live, even though I say I'm gonna go live. And uh, people just have to understand, you know? Life happens, you know? The uh, Grimaldi's for dessert. Ooh, I've never eaten Grimaldi's either. Is that a Vegas? I think I'm gonna get some apple juice. Apple juice sounds really good right now to me. You know what I have? Oh my gosh, you guys, I should make some coffee with armoretto for the cinnamon rolls. Ooh, Miguelito, you know how I like armoretto, right? I don't know if you're still in the chat, but I got this armoretto creamer, you guys. Oh my God, it's so scrumptious. Look. So I like to mix Bailey's and armoretto together. But they came up with the Armoretto um, International Delight. Don't sleep on it, you guys. I really like it. I like it. I don't know. You guys might not, but I do. All right. Let me try to take these things out. Hopefully, they're done. I don't know if they're done. I like this, uh, this special, but no olives. What do you mean the special? Like the deluxe? Evil pie is good. And then I like the place that's, um, I don't know why I can't think of the name. That's over by um, the Plaza Hotel. But you have to have their pizza fresh. Don't get like the warmed, reheated shit. No. Get fresh. If you get their fresh pizza, it's pretty good. Alright, this one looks done now. Oh. Let me 
let me um, try to take this out. <laughs> oh man. All right. I don't know if they're any good, but. I think they're done, but I don't know. I'm going to put this other one in there. Just taking them out of the tin. Just give me a second, guys. These ones are, are cams with no pepperoni. These ones. Woo! It went flying. This one has... These are not the roses ones. Still prefer Pizza Rock. Oh yeah, Pizza Rock. That's the one. That's oh no. Wait, which one? I like Pizza Rock and Evil Pie. One of them has like cut pepperonis. I think I've ate at both of them. Rhonda, I think she loves Domino's or pizza from Golden Corral. Ew, no. I like pizza from places. I don't like Little Caesars pizza either. People who eat Little Caesars pizza, I'm like, no, don't do it. Thank you. I'll pass on Little Caesar. So those are the little cups that came up. Oh man, that's good. Should I try with its um? And this is this is the rose, you guys. This is Amelie's rose. It, it didn't come out looking too rosy though. When I sat it down, <laughs> there's the rose. <laughs> I think they look more rosy when you actually put them in the pot than after they cook. Stacy's um, mom has got it going on. Isn't that a song? Soon, oh, so on my walk, I hear raccoons trying to figure out where I'm calling to them. Then, after I figure out they're in the roof, oh, wow, trapped trying to find a way down where I was. Oh my gosh, what are you, what are you gonna do to help them? A wooden fence stuck above me, oh man on the roof so they followed my calls and found the fence and fought each other to get on the aww raccoons are so cute they carry diseases but they're cute i uploaded it just now while getting a drink what did you upload i'm sorry i'm just like so lost oh that song how was the pizza oh, i tried it i tried a piece of it it was good i don't know if the kid the kids like it but they haven't eaten. I think they fell asleep. Because <laughs> they haven't been back out here. I did help them. Oh, that was nice that they followed your voice. Are Cheetos or marshmallows? <laughs> okay, I'm going to put these cinnamon rolls in the oven. I'm going to decrease it to 350.
I'm going to check the... Let me put the timer. Okay, I'm going to check them in 20 minutes, but it said it's going to take like 23 to 27 minutes to cook them. Oh yeah, in the backyard you would feed them, huh? And they have like this um, glove that was like metal that you guys could reach in and if they try to bite, it wouldn't bite you because it was metal. I'm going to rewind to see the veggie pizza. Oh, I haven't taken the veggie out. The veggie one's a hot mess because it was so thick. <laughs> it's like it opened up, the flour opened up all the way. I think I'm gonna make some coffee though. I think I'm gonna um, put the rest of these pizzas in the fridge. Maybe the kids can eat them tomorrow. I don't wanna wake them up, they have school in the morning. Like Freddy Krueger's gloves. Are his gloves metal? Yeah, Michael loves raccoons. That's like one of his favorite animals. I always call him a sloth though, because he moves slower than molasses in January. Oh, they were mesh gloves. I think like some kind of cooks wear those too. So like if they're cutting stuff that they don't slice their fingers and stuff. So they don't end up in your uh, Hell's Kitchen food. <laughs> Now showing second one. Oh, you're watching the Dune one. Are you watching the Dune one? Jetta, you have lips in your in your name now. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Is that new? I have not seen those Dune movies. Are they even worth watching? I'm gonna make some coffee, you guys. Oh, my back is killing me. I can only stand for so long and it hurts my back. Now one day I need a whole um, salmon to feed a wild bear. Oh my god. Michael's already walked up to wild bears, you guys. This one I had like... Um, Y'all tell the crust is golden brown. Watching the Lost Boys. <laughs> Do you watch the live stream in Alaska? All right, you guys, I'm going to take these out. Oh, if you guys can see, again, this is the finished product of the flour. I don't know how well the flour turned out. Oh, here we go. But we tried. All right, let me put these in a baggie. Let me get out of baggie first. Then I'm going to start cleaning everything up because my back's killing me. What the heck happened to all these? Ooh, I'm starting to smell the cinnamon rolls already. They smell so good, you guys. The aroma in my house smells like pizza and cinnamon rolls. Who could ask for anything more? So good. Okay. take them out so they cool actually my head is like killing me what is it saying I'm watching this stream live from the stratosphere are you really at the stratosphere is it still open at this time oh yes I've seen um, the bears in the river eating the salmon they eat it raw too huh? The veggie one is so fat, you guys. Here's another one that I took out. I don't know if you guys can tell. 
It's a little, it's a little flower. <laughs> you guys see it? Uh, no, they cook it. They cook the salmon. How do they cook the salmon? The bears? I'm sure they're eating them raw. I'm not gonna go put it on an open fire. <laughs> some like cheese into it so that's why it made them look a little bit less flowery I guess you would say okay oh my gosh magic Mike I've seen those videos what videos are you talking about shout out to Smokey the bear <laughs> he puff has he puff up posse Guys, my body's so tired. Hey. Gotta, yeah, there's a warning sign to listen for. Some people just didn't get the message and went too far. What are we doing? Warning signs for what? Oh, to OJ. Wait, I was watching something the other day. Is it true that the daughter thought he was guilty? Totally love your nails, Rhonda. Aw, oh, thank you so much. They're like needing to be done again already. They grow out so fast. <laughs> orange juice. <laughs> I I don't even think I have orange juice. But I know you're saying OJ. I don't think I have. No, I don't have any orange juice. I think I almost bought some, but I didn't. Alright y'all, I'm going to put these in the fridge, and what they could do is all they need to do is probably just like rewarm it on the, on the thing in the oven. I'm already full from the one I had. But see, here comes the hiccups. When I get full, I get hiccups. But I'm gonna save a, a spot for. I'm gonna put this to the side. And I'm gonna save a spot for the cinnamon rolls in my stomach. <sighs> okay. I put them in the bag, but I'm gonna leave the bag open because I don't want it to get like soggy. I'll let the air come out. 
One night, Rondo warned me about the gray fox. Curious to me. You know, Michael, I was saying, Michael, there's a fox. And he's like, no, there's not. He's like, where? He didn't want to believe me. I was like, Michael, there's a fox. And then finally, the sucker started to move. He's like, oh, it really is a fox. And that same trip, I was like, Michael, there's a bear. <laughs> He's like, there's no bear. Stop joking with me. There's no bear. I'm like, Michael, look. Where? I don't see a bear. You're joking with me. Michael, there's a freaking bear right there. Just look. And he's like, oh, there's a bear. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Very. Rarely does he listen to me. He argues with me all the time. <laughs> I rarely see foxes around here anymore. Well, this was in um, Yellowstone National Park. Uh, we were camping there with my friend Lauren and her husband and the kids and it was fun. Actually, at the time, I think she only had one, one kid. Maybe two. There's a few fox where I live. And yes, they're in uh, suburbia. Ooh, well, I think too, because they were coming around our site because we were like eating and stuff. All right, there was food out. Hold on, give me a second, guys. Okay, I need to start washing these dishes. A mountain lion or a wolf? How about a baby? What do you mean a baby? R. Kelly Perv. Wait, who says that? Who's an R. Kelly Perv? Coffee is not, not, wait, what? Coffee is not hot, gets me. You like hot coffee? Wait, hot coffee is about to be made. What kind of coffee should I drink? So my friend Laura, a different friend Laura than the Laura that I went to tonight to her house. Um, she actually went to Alaska and she brought me back this cup. 
and it says don't moose with me before my coffee so don't mess with me don't moose with me before my coffee in alaska so um when she left she has a she has a dog named tucker i think she's coming on sunday hopefully she brings tucker with her but uh for sierra's party ah oh, my gimbal died give me a second guys i'm gonna have to change out my gimbal and i'll tell you the story hold on oh give me a second Sorry, I didn't realize it was dying. Anyways, um, I plant, I baby, babysat her plants for her when she was um, in Alaska. And so she brought me back that cup. Okay. Well done, y'all. Sorry, you're yeah, on the roller coaster. She said it's going with her on the new gimbal. want to work. This one's broken. Okay, hold on. This thing is broken, so I'm trying to fix it. Hold on, give me a second. All right, we're back in business. Owls are cool. My roommate, she likes owls. I did a Eastern. And a Honda's voice. Does it say Honda? Oh, and Rhonda's voice. Damn, my eyes are so bad I couldn't even see that said Rhonda. Cut and redo. Be right back. <laughs> Are you still puffing over there, Vegas? Vegas Rebel? All right. So anyways, with the cup that she got me in Alaska, I'm going to go ahead and make my coffee. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know what kind of coffee I should get. The cinnamon rolls will be done in three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get vanilla cream puff since we're talking about puff puffing in the in the chat. I'm gonna use this coffee right here. To go with it. Okay. Oh shit, I just dropped it. Give me a second. So I can start cleaning up. Okay. I'm so tired. Like, I literally just want to, like, sit down and, like, Go to sleep and then wake up at clean. That's how I feel. That's how well tired I feel. Rhonda, we have a new bird that lives here and I never ever see it seen it before. It has a yellow body and a green tail. Ooh. I bet it's pretty. That sounds like a pretty bird. Sierra's gonna come in and she's gonna be smelling the food. She's gonna go straight to the kitchen. All right, hopefully this coffee will help keep me awake. All right. All right, I'm brewing the coffee now. Just kidding, I don't know if it's brewing, but. Stacy's mom has got it going on. Stacy's, oh yeah, that's a song. <laughs> Magic Mike, is it your pet? <laughs> he would rather have a pet. 
raccoon, I think, than a pet bird. <laughs> no, it's wild. Oh, ah! Sorry. God, you scared me to death. Sorry. Oh my god. You scared me to death. I thought you were sleeping. No, I'm like. I'm dead, you guys. I almost shit myself because. So they're done? They're done. I don't know if you like it, but they're done. You want to try one? Yes. Let me know if it needs to go in the oven longer or more time there. I don't know if it's good, but try it. <laughs> I don't know. You can try it. What do you think? I don't know if it tastes good or not. It's just cheese only. I like it. You do? Alright, I made you three. You want all three of them? You need all three of them right now? You want to get a plate then? She's like, oh, Alright. She says she likes it. It's ooey gooey? No. Yeah, I was scared because I thought they were sleeping. Look at Show them. Show them the cheese one. I only showed them the flower one. So when I did. Take a bite. Here, here. Take a bite. Is it good? <laughs> yeah? <Huh? laughs> the grease is all going all over the place. Because <laughs> I use butter in it. I like that. You do? They didn't come out looking like too flowery like, like I had planned. Look, this is like the one... They're not too rosy. <laughs> Cause I put cheese in the yeah. top. But anyways, I made cinnamon rolls too. You want some cinnamon rolls? <laughs> Cam's like, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> You've been smelling it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, let me this one um has still like well this one actually might be done. It said to put it for 27 minutes, but I only put it 20 and look, they look done. They look done. They look done. Yeah, those are great. They look like round. I think because it was already like hot in there from the yeah. pizza. That's probably it. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me ice some and then I'll give you some. Yeah. You gonna eat all three of them? Yeah? And then the cinnamon roll on top of that? I don't know why. I woke up, I was like taking a little nap and I woke up so hungry. I was like, you woke up hungry. Did you guys have dinner? Yeah, we did. <laughs> you didn't have dinner? No, we did. We were oh, just you like, did? What did you guys have for dinner? I had like a, I had like a crab patty. A crab patty? Yeah. Oh, the patty is in the freezer. I saw uh -huh. them. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on, you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the cinnamon rolls really quick. Here's the cinnamon rolls. I burned my hand. Don't do that. Here's the cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna ice them up right now though. I already started the ice one. You see, they wake up in the middle of the night and they should be sleeping. Tomorrow they're gonna be falling asleep in class and That's it's okay. gonna be all my fault. Cause I kept them up. Their mom's all, make sure that they're good. I was like, okay. Look at me, I'm being a bad sitter no you guys don't need a sitter but you know what i mean what she doesn't know will hurt her huh? shh nadesh if you're watching <laughs> i don't say that mm. your, your daughter hey amelie who is that amelie what's up amelie you should be in bed amelie yeah there, amelie, there's, there's not enough pizza to go around <laughs> i'm just kidding you want some pizza <laughs> you do I don't know if it's gonna be as good as Cam made it out to be, but <laughs> get a plate. I kind of like the garbage disposal. Mm. You like cinnamon rolls? You do? All right, get a plate. Afterwards, you guys gotta go to bed though. I don't want you guys up all night and then you're sleeping in class all day tomorrow. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys gotta graduate. It's right around the corner. Don't let anything prevent you from graduating. Not even pizza and cinnamon rolls. Dang. 
Here, I'll give you one to try because you might not like it like Cam does. Oh, did you have a pepperoni in yours? No, it's sauce. Oh, it's sauce. Oh, okay. Do you want to try it? I don't know if you like it, but you can try it. There you go. Did it come out like a flower? <laughs> not really. <laughs> not at all. I don't know. If it doesn't come out good, you can just throw it. If you don't like it. <laughs> it's different. I don't know. You think it tastes good? Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, kids are brutally honest, so <laughs> there you have it. Only little kids are. Oh, only little kids are? So you guys are lying then? <laughs> this is really good. I'm mm -hmm. glad you liked it. I'm trying to ice these cinnamon. I think they need to have double the amount of icing though, don't you guys think? Yeah. I think they give you a, a scrap for icing. Anyway. I know, I remember just popped in my head one time. I was trying to make a grilled cheese, but then my uh -huh. mom was like, let me show you how to make it right. And then we went out this whole lab and, like thing trying to make a grilled cheese, and I was like, he, what, did he, what did he do? He like put it in a butter, he put like seasoning on it, he did all this, Stuff. I'm like, girl, you're doing too much. <laughs> it was like midnight. <laughs> you guys are silly. Yeah. Alright, so here's the finished product of the cinnamon rolls, y'all. There's still 19 people watching. Ooh. There's this pot of the cinnamon rolls. Worst part too, he took that cheap grilled cheese. <laughs> he took half of it. Alright, you guys get dishes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I was like, huh? <laughs> uh, they're like, I don't want to eat no more. They're like, uh, I was <laughs> Uh, how far are you from Outback? Outback Steakhouse? Uh, oh, you're talking about Outback in Australia. <laughs> Those are two different Outbacks. All right. These might be a little done, but that's okay. You can have one if you want. You finished all three of them already? Yeah. I told you I woke up hungry. I think these are a little, like, overdone. I don't cook them less time than they said to cook them. <laughs> But every oven is different. Mm. You want another pizza or just that? Just this. Mm -hmm. They're chowing down the cinnamon rolls and the, it's a little overcooked. I like my my little less cooked. But I took them out when the alarm said. <laughs> I was like, they said to cook them 23 to 27 minutes. I cooked them 20. And I'm like, I'll just check on them at 20. And at 20, I was like, no, they didn't come out already. Mm. We're having fat fest tonight. <laughs> We're all eating, huh? <laughs> I'm sure I would qualify them. Just not fast enough for me. Australia has the oldest rainforest in the world. You just found that out? I didn't know that. They also have the most dangerous wildlife. Everything there is dangerous. Australia? Yeah. I thought like the Amazon was supposed to be dangerous. Yeah, but Australia, they have ginormous spiders. They have ginormous snakes. They have ginormous kangaroos. And also, Those kangaroos would kick your ass too, huh? Yep. Yeah. Koalas will sit in the middle of the road, so a lot of people get into car accidents because of koalas. Because of koalas, really? Yeah. Because you can't hit a koala. I think you have to go, you might go to jail for that. Are they like protected? Mm -hmm. okay. Like also, if you go to Hawaii, the um, the sea lions are protected. Yeah. Mm. Also, they have kombucha too, so don't have to get that. Come tell them how your cinnamon roll tastes. It tastes good. It tastes a little overdone though. On the outside, yeah, but on the inside. On the inside, it's soft, so mm -hmm. yeah. The outer layer only. I should have checked them at like 18 minutes instead of 20. Yeah. I think what happened was. The oven, I was cooking the pizza at 425. So when I cooked the cinnamon rolls at 350, 
It was still hotter than 350. You know what I mean? Yeah, I should probably speed up the process. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Okay, this is worth it. Staying up. You're going to have to pick up some cinnamon rolls, cinnamon rolls Kevin? Now I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> we have two extra cinnamon rolls. I'm going to eat one of them. <laughs> you guys can share the other one between the two of you guys if you want. Okay. Well, I'm going to bed. So. Good night. Good night. Good night. Love your dreams. Nice. Good night. Good night. Should I get both of these cinnamon rolls in? Yeah. All right. I can drink it with my amaretto. I'm not gonna drink them both tonight. I mean, eat them both tonight. Mmm. Well, the kids are fed. I'm fed. My job tonight is done. Check. Sorry, dinner was late, guys. It was out. <laughs> Now the Aussie rules football run. Mm. But you're talking about soccer football, right? <laughs> Jada, <Jetta>, really? <laughs> when Cam came out? I thought the kids were asleep. That's why. It scared me. I'm gonna be itching all night long. Well, they both approved. They both ate. Oh, wow. Dang, crying hippie. That's scary. I don't know if I would be having a pet spider though. That's for sure. So they have the scariest spiders? Oh my gosh. I just ate my Domino's pizza. Ew. I don't like Domino's pizza. Blech. Domino's pizza is awful. All right, let me combine these two things together into one pizza. I'll make pizza in one and cinnamon rolls in the other. You see my flowers? <laughs> they didn't come out looking like flowers. Well, we tried, y'all. We tried. Okay, let me put these cinnamon rolls in the fridge. I threw down one and a cinnamon roll. I'm like, threw down one and a cinnamon roll. Captured on three in the cinnamon roll. Cam was hungry. These ones I'm gonna leave out for a little bit because they're still warm. These ones are already cool. Okay. Now you know what time it is? It's dishes time. Ugh. I hate when I'm tired to do dishes. That's one thing about like cooking, the whole process, it's a lot on my body. Harper and Blight. All right, so I'm gonna get together everything Coffee is done. Cheers, everybody. I'm gonna put some amaretto in it. Hopefully, it'll keep me awake long enough to get this to get this uh, get these dishes done. Hold on. I'm gonna move these over right here.
so you guys can come hang out with me while I do dishes. Cheers. <laughs> Anybody else drinking anything or am I the only one? <gasps> All right, I'm gonna mix up the armoretta. Yeah. do dishes and take you with me while I'm doing them. I hate leaving my house dirty. So I'm going to bring all my dishes over here and get them all done. Icing is so good. I have it on this knife. You need a margarita? Are you off of work tonight, Megalito, or are you off of work tomorrow? Alright. I'm gonna get started. Mm. Those cinnamon rolls hit the spot. So did the pizza, but mostly the cinnamon rolls. Hey, Miguelito, did you like the flavored carbonated water? Oh, I don't think he likes that. He drinks water, but I've never seen him drink carbonated flavored water. I don't think he will eat that. He might, though. I guess I'll let him answer whether or not he'll eat that. like sparkling oh yeah I think he's talking about sparkling ice is like actually colored and stuff he's talking about just regular water with like flavoring like no coloring No, Miguelito is not my boyfriend. He's just my friend. I've been friends with him since I was nine years old. Something like that. Actually, Miguelito is... His brother is my ex-boyfriend from a long time ago. His brother's been married for forever, though. Forever in a day. I actually went to his wedding in Hawaii. I get along with him still. What's the craziest thing you and Miguelito have ever done, Rhonda? Um, one of the crazy things we did was in Vegas, we um, pretended like we were part of this event that we really were not a part of. And we went in, it was called like the food and beverage festival or something like that. You had to be like from a vendor, not, like not a vendor, but um, a company coming out to represent like your products or something like that. So anyways, I told Michael, just pretend 
like we're from this company and let's just act like we're from there and say why is our names on the list and they ended up adding us to the list in vegas and we made out with like hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of stuff like we had food we had alcohol we had free products given to us it was freaking badass michael do you remember that are you here michael i don't even know if he's here but it was hella fun and we actually got this pass to attend for an entire like three or four days however long it lasted we only went one day but we had so much shit we left with bags of shit literally bags of shit um hold on real quick my nose is running then we went to um the grilled cheese invitational remember Miguelito? we went into um the grilled cheese invitational too that one we we did buy tickets to get in but the tickets were like pretty inexpensive oh my god we left with like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars of, of stuff we kept going back and getting more we got bottles of fuse fuse was freaking bomb like the peach what was it peach mango or something like that that shit was bomb we made out with bags of like chips and um what was the other the izzy's and oh my god i had so many bags i literally couldn't carry them anymore it was literally we kept going to like the cheese what is it cabot cheese c-a-b-o-t or something like that cheese and they had they were giving away like bags right so we were collecting the bags and then going around to all the vendors and collecting like granola bars and everything grilled cheese sandwiches we left there so damn full it was crazy okay crew time to wind down the bed much love and god bless run to him thank you so much crying hippie have a wonderful night thank you for coming in you guys we're only three lights away from 50 you think we can get there if you haven't seen that thumbs up please do me a favor and smash it it mean a lot to me thank you so much i know it's a late stream but it's been fun. Definitely fun. Oh man. I'm part of the cleanup crew, I guess. Once this is clean, I'm gonna knock out the. I know, come on, 50. We got to get to 50, right, Kevin? Be nice. We're only one away. All right, guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, at the end of this month, again, we're gonna be doing the drawing for the gift card giveaways for the mod of the month, you guys. So keep in mind who you think has been a good mod coming in. Um. This is not a popularity vote, you guys. This is who comes in every day, or you know, it doesn't have to be every day, but comes in and shows love and support to the channel. Um, puts up links if they need to be going up. Somebody who um, welcomes everybody that's coming in with open arms, showing love and respect to everybody. Somebody who's good at taking the trolls out really quick. Those are the kind of things I'm looking for for being the mod of the month. So, you guys all know who my mods are. Just keep in mind that the mod must be present in order to win. Wolf, Wolf, are you still in here? I hope you liked the pizza live stream. You might have fallen asleep. Poor guy. I shouldn't have done such a late live for him. Oh 
Okay. Chat doesn't know who uh remove chat doesn't know who removes trolls. No they don't. They don't know but what but if they're if they see a troll in there and they're removed, you can see which mods are in there. Yeah, they can't see which specific troll they're removing. But when they're on top of it, that helps a lot. Like we had some in here earlier. You love late lives, Kevin? Is it because you work late or you're just a night owl or? I was gonna call you guys uh, Rhonda's like night owls or whatever. But Rhonda's roadie sounds good because we're always on the road going somewhere, doing something. Got on this one and stained it. You're a night owl. Oh, okay. You're going to sleep, Mikalito. Mikalito, you didn't answer me. Are you off today? Were you off today or are you off tomorrow? Well, she's gonna pretend like he already left, so he doesn't have to answer that question. We just got Kevin in here. Who still is? Who still has their eyes open and then not looking at the back of their eyelids? Which one of you guys? We got 18 people still in here watching. Shout out to all the lurkers. You're what keep me going every day. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Shout out to the people who do their own cooking and their own cleaning. You're awake. I'm here at Silverton. How did you get from how did you get from the strat to Silverton already? That was fast. What are you doing at the Silverton? Vegas Rebel, you just said you were at the Strat, right? That's what I was saying. How did you get there from the Strat all the way to Silverton? It's like on opposite sides of the strip, too. You got there quick. But the Strat closes at a certain time. They'll kick everybody out, like, of the, of the top tower. Like, well, I mean... I said that wrong. The gambling part stays open, but I'm saying like of the viewing decks and all that, they close at a certain time. Because I want to make sure that they're like clean. Like, I feel like you do a better job cleaning them by hand, but then it sanitizes them in the dishwasher with the heat. I think it's better. I do both. for joining oh i did not know that yep shot is closed you're talking about the viewing deck not the whole place right what is your favorite place to go in vegas um vegas rebel out of all the places you could choose from where's your favorite place 
And what is your favorite restaurant as well? I'm gonna ask everybody in the chat. What is your favorite restaurant and place to go as well? All right, Nadesh, if you're watching, your kids are fed, they're in bed, they're good. I hope you're feeling okay. Much love to you. You've never been? Oh, I did not know that. I've never been. You've never been to the Strat or you've never been to Vegas? <laughs> I knew Miguelisa was going to act like she didn't see that last message. I know Miguelisa like the back of my hand and I know very much so that he did hear that message, that question. Vegas? Oh, you've never been to Vegas? Um, used to be the Mirage. Too much uh, food to choose from. I used to love the way the Mirage was. Like, to be honest with you, I loved, um, I loved, like, the water and all the plants and, like, when you entered. Um, oh, shoot. That thing burned my hand. And the, like, what is it called? The Exploratorium or what do you call that thing? The observatorium or whatever the thing was called. I can't even think what, there, what it was called. If you said it, I would remember. But it was so pretty, like how you could go in and look up and like just see like the sky in the, from the inside, from indoors. There was another place I went, I think it was like the Gaylord Hotel in, um, in uh, tech, or, I'm sorry, in Tennessee that I went to it um it had that same uh vibe to it where you would walk in and see hold on let me go through this way real quick Now let me fill the sink with dishes again because I have more. Hold on, let me take all these little peppers out that fell out into the thing. Okay, give me a second. Let me go throw this away. Hold on. Let's fill this sink again. Dishes. Uh, Siegfried ate Roy. Oh no. Poor guys, they're dead. <laughs> Leave them alone. Did he eat him whole or over multiple meals? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, back before uh, Siegfried and Roy. Let's see. Silverton is my spot now. Oh my god, I ate at, um, what is it called? me something i forgot what it's called me i don't know it had something i forgot the mexican restaurant name there it was good as hell though the media tacos look bomb like bomb and then i had um i had uh this one drink it was really good the second one was bomb and it spilled everywhere i was so mad i wanted to drink it it was really good though. Okay, let me wash this one 
up. Is it called just Mikasa? I thought it was called Mikasa something. Or me. I thought it had like more than two names. I've been to the Mermaid Lounge too. I've been to the Mermaid Lounge twice. Oh, no, three times. Twice just for alcoholic beverages and then once for um, to eat. I like the drinks, but the food was just whatever. It was not, not anything like spectacular. I liked the Mexican place better. Oh yeah, mi casa cantina, there you go. When I clean, I clean like thoroughly, like everything, underneath everything. <laughs> I don't like stuff pushed to the side. You didn't like it there? Well, the mermaid lunch is for picking up ladies. Yeah, the food, I didn't like the food there. But, the, but I like, I don't like the drinks. But the food, forget it. No gracias. It wasn't my cup of tea or my cup of coffee. That's for sure. Okay. Let's see, it is, we got 50 lights finally. That's good. It's not bad to have two streams in one day, get 50 likes on both. That's not bad. For me not streaming for a while, that's not bad. I hope you guys all had, I had fun when we were talking about the, what do you call it? Oh. Give me a second guys. I'm gonna wipe down the countertop really quick. Ugh. And then I'll drink my cafecito. While I bring in Sierra. Okay, just give me one minute. I'm just wiping up this countertop. Alright, I am done. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in Sierra in like about five minutes. I'm just finishing up cleaning up everything. And then I'll bring her in. I gotta clean the floor still. Ugh. Otherwise she'll try to eat the stuff on the floor. I don't want her eating the thing from the floor.
help me clean it up after yourselves. I, I feel you though, I get tired to clean up sometimes. Okay. I'll drink my coffee. Yeah, the chopper can I'm finding closed down. That was like a nightmare for me at that hotel. So part of me is like sad because there was a memory there, but then part of me is happy because the memory wasn't the best memory. So I'm glad that that nightmare has passed, I guess. It was probably one of my worst trips to Vegas when I stayed there. Probably the worst trip to Vegas, to be honest. I get this thing up and running. Man. You used to love the Excalibur? Really? I don't really like the Excalibur because I don't think their beds are that comfortable. Oh, Excalibur. Oh, and Tropicana were close to, yeah, they were close to the airport. But then if you're gonna stay there, might as well stay at Hooters. <laughs> but yeah, I like, um, for a hotel where you don't spend a lot of money, I think the Harris Hotel has um, a really good location, like right there by the Carnival and all of that. Um, and the room was okay. Like when I stayed there this last time, I didn't mind it. And then I stayed at TI as well. Where else did I stay? I stayed at three hotels. Oh, I stayed at South Point. I love, love, love South Point. I like South Point a lot. There's a lot of stuff I like about South Point. But you know what? I did, um, like when I eat at Baja Miguel's, I don't eat their food there. Oh my gosh, these walls are filled with crap. Hold on real quick, guys. Um, when I eat at Baja Miguel's, I don't eat their food there. I only eat their fideo. And I like their fideo and I like their margaritas. But I think one time, or two times maybe, at the most, I ate their food and it was not that good. Like the... The rice was horrifying, but the food itself, I'm, I'm sorry, the soup and the margaritas are bomb. I love their margaritas. They have probably one of the best margaritas on the strip, but uh, Jedi, yes, but not too expensive. Cromwell um, starts at around, you know, I've stayed at Cromwell before, but not when it was Cromwell. I stayed there when it was... Um, what was it called? Bill's Saloon or something like that. But even if you go, don't stay at Cromwell, go there and get the drinks from there. Because they'll put more alcohol in their drinks than they do in other places. So if you're like gambling, that's a good spot to like stop and get some drinks at for free. You know? If you're getting, if you're gambling just to get some drinks in your system, you know, it's really good. I gotta wash that. Okay. All right. We got 
15 people in the chat and 51 likes. Thank you guys so much for the likes. All right, it looks clean enough for me to bring Miss Sierra in the house. This thing is sticking out. So. I don't want her getting into this. I don't know what's sticking out. Oh, it's this thing. What is sticking out? I don't know, it's not even closing. Still busy MXP here, great things about it. Um, how is the the old red bar? I heard a lot of people, I'm gonna have to try that. I've never heard of it. Or maybe I have heard of it and I just forgot about it. I don't know. It's been a minute since I, I was going to Vegas a lot. But in the last year, I haven't been so much because now I have a dog, so it's kind of hard to just get up and go whenever I want. Like before, I didn't have to consult with anybody. I just got up and went. Now, I have to make sure I have a dog sitter and a whole bunch of stuff. Give me a second, guys. Let me go bring in Sierra, okay? Sorry, you guys. Sierra left me two really big presents outside, so I had to clean it up. <laughs> she left me huge presents. As big as the presents I'm giving her for her birthday. You guys want to see her presents for her birthday? Let me show you what I got my dog. I'm not going to show you what's inside because, like, well, some of the stuff I think I've showed you guys already, but I didn't give them to her yet. So this is Sierra for Sierra's birthday. This is stuff for her birthday. My dog is spoiled, you guys. Look how spoiled my baby girl is. That's all for my dog for her birthday. You see? Oh, mommy, that's for you for your birthday. Because your birthday is Monday, right? You're going to tell everybody to sing happy birthday to you? You're going to tell everybody to say happy birthday? Say happy birthday to you. Look at my baby girl's birthday. We're going to have a blast. We're going to have a party. <laughs> She's sleeping with me every night. She sleeps with me every night. Every night my baby sleeps with me. I 
I started like when I first um when I first got her. Like I would create her at nighttime until um I knew she was potty trained. And then when she was potty trained then now now I, now she sleeps with me. Um she is approximately two years old. That's her got date. Like is the twenty second of um April. So I know her actual birthday is not on the 22nd because when I got her, they said she was approximately a year old and they had to like quarantine her. I don't know if it was really quarantine or just wait the three day holding period um, from the time they got her to make sure like the rightful owners didn't claim them. They give them three days to find the dog. From what I can see, you're lying down. What do you mean? I'm lying down. I'm lying down. You have me on your side. Um, 15 looks like you're sitting down. Wait, what? They're at the area 15 and it looks like you're sitting down. I remember a 15 year old kid did the zip line on Fremont and did the Superman style and peed on everyone as he went by no freaking way. I've actually done Superman style and sitting, but I've never done it on Fremont Street. Um, I've only done it on, um, by the link. The one by Fremont Street, it has, um, they have different like weight, weight limits and stuff like that. And at the time, like I weighed, I guess more than what I weigh now. So I'm not sure if I would even qualify for the Fremont Street one. I think the Fremont Street one is like 200 or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Mommy, are you ready to go lay down? You go lay down? <laughs> She's just chilling. Look at her, guys. Look at You want to say hi to Dragon? Is Dragon Knight still in here? Say hi, Mama. You say hi? You say hi to everybody? Say hi. That is a true story, I bet. See, look, I got your toy. Go get your toy, mommy. Look. <coughs> Gonna get it? Look. She's tired. She bit up her toy already. <laughs> there she's coming now. <laughs> She loves her toy. She sleeps with it. I have this cute picture of her with that toy. Hi, mommy. <laughs> you gonna bring your toy and go lay down? You gonna go lay down, mama? All right, let's go see if we can bring her in the room. Uh, let me finish cleaning up. I got like five more minutes of cleaning and then I should be done. Then I'll just strictly look at you guys. You gonna go lay down, mommy? You tired? You tired? Do you guys want to see the flowers I did for her? For her. I'm still working on them, though. You guys, this is for her party. You see the flowers? I have all this stuff out. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta close the unmentionables. The flowers. I have all this stuff for her party, like over the on the on the desk too. So I gotta clean all that up. But I did all those. She's so comfortable. <laughs> now, now I have that happy birthday song in your head. <laughs> Happy birthday to ya. Um, oh my, what is it? Oh my gosh, <laughs> pretty. Yeah, so I've been making these. Some of them, I have to still finish them. I have to put the butterflies inside of them. I got my dog a rib guy stay for his birthday. Yeah, my dog, she's spoiled. So then, um, I got these. Like, my room is, like, a mess right now because I'm trying to, like, do all these arts and crafts for her birthday. So, um, 
So I got these like little mushrooms because her party is all like butterflies and flowers. It's like spring, spring look. Ah, uh, hold on, let me show you. So there's like different mushrooms. There's like this one, it's like pink and then purple. Here's a purple one. And then I have a green one too. The green ones, um, the mushrooms are shaped a little bit more pointy. What breed is she? She's a Siberian Husky. And then I made a whole bunch of like butterflies and then I made them with like these things, these little pipe cleaners. And I made some out of napkins too. And then what else? I have all kinds of stuff for her party right here. So basically what I did was I went to the 99 cause you know the 99 is closing. And I bought like a whole bunch of like uh, fake flowers and I'm just putting, I'm making them into bouquets. So that's how I did that. A bunch of fake flowers. Rhonda, I was the runner up on the prices right. Can I still um, claim my prize? What the heck? On the prices right. Wow. So anyways, I'm doing like these like lanterns. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're going to like look somewhat like this. And then these lights, they go on the inside of them. So they have these lights. And they're going to go inside the lanterns. I don't know if you guys could see and light them up for the tables. Was that when Bob Barker was on? Is that before he died? Didn't he die, Bob Barker? And then I have other like little baby lights that I'm going to hang from the ceiling with the other lanterns. Yeah, I got these all at the 99. You should be a party organizer. You think so? I like doing it, but I'm not really like, I'm not very creative, like, I'm not very, I don't know how to put stuff together very well. Like, I don't know how to draw, I like doing stuff, I like to try to be creative. I think it's like really good for my mental health, you know? Sometimes I get really bad depression, and so when I'm depressed, like, doing stuff like that, like, I have a lot of stuff that's like colors and stuff like that, because it, it helps with my depression. 99 cent and so cal will stay open i heard that somebody else might be buying them out is that true but they filed like chapter 11 bankruptcy so i heard and the one by my house well there's like several of them by my house but um well actually there's none actually by my house i have to travel like 20 something minutes but um the closest ones to my house they're um maybe the third for this one from my house i went there because i was trying to go to different ones looking for specific flowers because they were almost out of everything so i was trying to get stuff that incorporated the colors because her colors are purple pink and like a um it's almost like a teal color uh, some of the flowers up there they have teal in them um it's kind of like oh i painted these too i'll show you guys let me see if i can show you guys hold on I painted these for her birthday. Hold on. Where are they at? Oh, let me see if I can find them. They might be on this table. All this stuff on this table is for her birthday. So let me see. Oh, here's the mushroom that's green. Let me see. The mushroom that's green is this one. Look. Look at how it's like more pointy at the top. Y'all know you like mushrooms. <laughs> it's more pointy. Hold on. Let me show you. Let me get them. I don't even know where they're at. If anyone wants to know. to find 
find them. <laughs> but I painted these um these letters and I painted them in pink and purple and like a teal color. And I made them like sparkly. So they're nice and girly. Oh. Sorry. Ah, I had it. I almost dropped you guys. I caught you though. So yeah, everything in my room is a hot mess right now because of the party. That's why I've been I've been working on all this stuff. This is um this is the plates that I chose out for her party. And then there's like this color blue, like a tealish blue. And then this is the little plates. Good morning. Hey, how are you? I was just showing everybody um the different things I'm making for my dog's birthday party. And then I got her um, little wings, butterfly wings, uh, to put on her back for her birthday. So she's gonna wear this. And then, yeah, the bouquets that I made, I still have like a lot more to make. So <laughs> those right here. Right? My room will be clean soon, you guys, <laughs> but those are all the bouquets that I'm making for her birthday. All of them. So yeah, when people say my dog's not loved, <laughs> so wrong even if you go to petco they're like oh my god she's the most spoiled dog that comes in here they'll say that everybody says that anyways hi christian how are you good to see you hi rosemary good to see you rosemary rosemary and i mod um for the same channel so i was so excited to see that um she's in here today that's so nice. Welcome to the chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you. Shout out to all my mods that are in here as well. Those that were in here early, earlier and the ones that are in here now. Um, are you going to have um, friend over? I invited maybe like, I don't know. I didn't invite that many people, honestly. I, I invited like a handful of people. But I don't know if they're going to come. Like, I invited her trainer. I invited, like, a couple people, like, from my neighborhood that live here. But I'm not sure their dependability on coming because I don't really know them that well. Like, I just know them in passing at the dog park that we take our dogs to the same park, you know? Um, but I told them, just come over and grab a plate of food. Even if you don't want to stay or whatever, come and show up. Because um, I made... Oh, let me show you guys what I made. I made um little doggy bags for all the dogs that are coming. Here, come here, Sierra. Come here, mommy. Come here, mama. Come on. So these are all of her presents right here, right? Hold on, let me show you. Sorry guys. So let me put it out. So those are all Sierra's presents, right, for her birthday. And then these are like the little doggy um, bags that I made for the dogs. Happy birthday to your little baby. Oh, thank you so much. So look at, you know how like humans, we have cake pops? These are like dog cake pops for dogs. Isn't that cute? And then um, I put like different balls and different stuff in here so they're just a whole bunch of oh sorry i didn't realize it's so zoomed in let me zoom it out um there's all kinds of little different snacks in here uh, there's balls that light up there's like celebrate um milk bones for the birthday cake uh flavored biscuits and they have them like i don't know if you could see them through here and then i got all the dogs let me show you what else I got them? Let me show you. Hold on. Okay, hold up. Um, they have like these, and I didn't even know that they had these. But let me show you. Let me go to my garage. Okay. 
These ones right here, we're gonna lock it. We have to lock the fridge because Sierra is smart and gets into. I made little is like uh, Ben and Jerry's doggy ice cream desserts. I got these for the dogs. If you guys can see. And then um, I got some, I personally don't like, like whipped cream, but I got some pup cup pumpkin flavored whipped cream. Give me just a second. Let me go back in. I don't get service really in my garage that well. Or anywhere now. It's saying the service is bad. Clean house before I go to bed. Can you guys hear me okay? Put a one in the chat, guys, if you can hear me. Because it's showing that you guys can't hear me. Well, the signal seems like it came back. Um, I wish I was a dog so I could have your treats, laughing out. Oh my gosh, I have a whole closet just dedicated to my dog stuff. Sierra, what you doing? You wanna go potty, mama? You wanna go potty? You go potty? No? Come here. Come here. Come here. You wanna say hi? Come here. Let me show you guys. Let me thank you so much, Rosemary. Uh, or Rosemary, I'm sorry. Say hi, Sierra. What are you doing? Are you coughing? Ah, what did you go eat? Did you go eat something? You shouldn't have ate. Huh? I don't know what you're doing. Here, come on. What are you doing, Sierra? <laughs> My dog is she doing the most. Uh, um, it's awesome that I just woke up. I turned on the TV and I caught you on live. Oh, thank you so much. You know what? It's funny, Jetta. It's so crazy. Ever since I got her, I I know that she sits like to the side. She doesn't always sit like that, but she'll sit and she'll go to like to the side a little bit. And I asked the doctor, I go, is there something wrong with her hip or whatever? And they're like, no. That's just how she sits. I think it's cute. It's all her own little cute little city. Yeah, that's my baby Sierra. Oh my god, you guys, the cinnamon rolls were so good. I just love this icing. I think I'm gonna keep it to dip my cinnamon roll in the morning. Mm. <clears throat> you ready? You want a treat treat? Let me get you a treat treat. I'm gonna give her um. Can you get her a treat? I don't know if I can reach it though. Oh, I don't think I can reach it, Sierra. Hold on. Maybe if we take a, a spoon, we can grab it. Here we go. See, this is what a short people have to do. Look at, she jumped up here so quick. These are good for like their teeth, their dental treats. You're a cat mom? <coughs> How many cats do you have? And how many cats do you have? Hold on, mommy. Ready? We're gonna show everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Come here. Want it? <laughs> she loves it. What kind of cats do you have? I just have her treats in that thing. I don't even have like any food in that. What kind of cats? Let's see. Just one for now. He's a young um, cat, a young kitten. Oh, what kind of kitten? I just refilled our dog's flea and tick cart. Oh my God, I did too. I spent just a couple days ago, I spent like $250 on Sierra. Um, or was it more? I can't remember. It was at least more. It's fifty dollars a month for the flea and tick and heartworm, and then if you if you like lapse in time, they make you do the heartworm test like all over again before they issue that 
medicine. And then um, I give Sierra shots that are $150 um, for like itching or whatever, cause she has allergies. So I give her that. And then she got, um, she got something else too. What was it? She got her rabies, parvo, and what is the third one? There was three of them she got, but then she's gonna go back and I'm gonna schedule the rest of them because I took her out um in like lakes and like hiking and stuff like that so um she has to have shots for that stuff too because she's like more prone to get stuff because she's um out in like you know the wilderness and stuff like that my older cat um i lost her two days after my birthday oh my gosh she was 12 years old i was heartbroken oh my god i would be so heartbroken you know sometimes it runs through my mind like what if something like okay like yesterday i took sierra to the lake right and i was thinking to myself what if like a car hit us like crossing the street or something like that and it made me so sad like what would i do without her she's like my life now and like i wake up breathe and do everything i do is like for her or around her or everything so it's like to be without her now, it would be just so devastating, you know? Oh uh, yeah, my condolences to you. Losing a pet is not easy. I lost my chinchilla one year when I was in um, Nigeria and that broke my heart. Because that's what happens when you let your pets outside. <laughs> yeah, I, I let her outside, but she stays indoors most of the time. She's indoors with me. But um, Rhonda, have you ever heard of the um, Clown Motel near Vegas? Would you stay in it? Yeah, I would. I'm, I'm not afraid of clowns. I'm not afraid of them. Hey, what's up, Mama Bear? Moin, how are you? I just, I just saw your thing because it went up like 10 comments at one time. It says, hi, Mama Bear. It says, uh, hi, Rhonda. I have two cats who turned nine in February and March and our dog is about four, not quite five. She's um, a shelter dog and we don't know for sure how old she is. Yeah, same with Sierra, she's a rescue as well. Um, so I went on Earth Day a year ago. So I got her on April 22nd. Um, so that's her got date. So that's not officially her birthday, but I don't know when her birthday is. So that's when I made her birthday. Um, people are saying to make it 420, but I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to make it the day I got her. And um, I think Earth Day is very fitting because she has like, it looks like a lotus flower or something like on her, on her forehead. And um, because I got her on Earth Day, I was like, you know, that's a good day to just call her birthday. So... Um, I know she's at least a year old, so um, because she had to stay there for three days prior to being adopted. So I know she's a year and some change. You want another one? You want another one? She's like, I want another one. She came over and she and she pointed literally with her paw. Show him what do you want? What do you want, Mama? Show him what you want. Which one do you want? You want this one? You want treat treat? You just ate that treat treat. You want another treat treat? Yeah? You want another treat treat, mommy? <laughs> you are so silly. She like literally came up and put her paw on the on the thing like this. And she wanted it like this. Zoomies at night and runs all over my apartment. Your your ba your baby's name is Zoomies? and bounces on my bed. Look at Sierra's right here up in the mix wanting some. You see this? You see this dog of mine? She's trying to get some more. You want some more treat treat? Oh, did you hear it just burp? Did you guys hear Sierra just burp? Did you just burp? You went Did you say excuse me? Did you tell everybody excuse me for burping? <laughs> Did you say excuse me for burping, mommy? Let me see, let me finish reading what you were saying. 
I am sleep, wake up in the morning, and he's right on my pillow over my head, sleep. Aww, isn't that the cutest? You know, like, when Sierra, she lays next to me. Oh my god, it was so cute. Like, I literally laid next to her, and then she puts her paw, like, over my head, like, holding me. It was so cute. Or if I'm sitting down, she'll, like, lay literally on top of my feet. Or if I'm on the toilet, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, but when I'm on the toilet, she'll come and she'll sit and she'll put her whole back into me where my legs are at and she just sits there waiting, <laughs> waiting for me to finish my, my business. His name is Marco. Oh, how cute. I bet he's adorable. What colors is he? All right. Mommy, go pick up your toy. You know, go pick up your toy. Look. Go get your toys. Go get your toys. Go get your toys. Look, you're making a mess in my house. You know I don't do messes. Go take your toy. Go put it back. Go put your toy back. <sighs> you know, the other day she actually put her toy away. And then she took out a new toy. I was like, oh, good girl. Because my mom, she always used to say, you can't take out a new toy unless you put your old one away. <laughs> so I was like, okay, my, my baby is doing just that. Same, we celebrate our dog's adoption date um, of October 20th. We call it her gotcha day. Yeah, exactly, that's what it, that's what it is. But I'm calling her, her her birthday. Her name is Barley, aww. And she's black lab mix. The female cat is named Olive. And our male cat is named Whiskey Blue. Oh, I like blue. Blue's my favorite color. Uh, zoomies is when they run all up and down. Oh my God, Sierra does that sometimes too. Like, I know what you mean by cats doing that, but Sierra does that and she'll do flips around. Even when I took her to Vegas, she went crazy like that and was all over the place. She was super excited running from one side to the next to the next. I was like, what is going on with you? Like, it's like she's on crack or something. What you got, mama? Is that your toy? You got a little piggy? <laughs> she has so many toys, you guys. <laughs> hey. Um, He has a mixed color, black, white, and he has a little orange in him. Aww. Sierra is mostly black and white and like gray, but she has a little bit, if you could see by her leg, she has a little bit of brown there and um, I think by the top of her leg over here. And then what I like about her too, she has like a little black stripe around the back, back of her tail. I don't know if you can tell. Let me see, Mama. If you could see, it's like a black stripe. <laughs> And then I have, I have, I'm a fish mom too. So I have fishies. Here, I'll show you my fishies. I don't have everything like, here you go. I got lots of fishies in here. So that's one of my tanks. And then I have this tank right here. I remember earlier we were talking about the cherry blossom tank. So there's this tank and then I have a cherry blossom one it's like a Japanese theme one but there's no fish in this one right now because Drez just helped me change all the fish to the other one so I didn't have to clean so many tanks I have this one with Japanese cherry blossoms all over I don't know if you can see there's some more on this side Japanese cherry blossoms. They're in the back. They're like kind of behind the tank. I don't want to go back there. Turn it on. And then I have another fish over here in this one in the corner. Okay, let me see what you're saying. It says Olive is a domestic black cat, and I love Siamese. They're so cute. Remember that movie, we are Siamese, if you please. We are Siamese, if you don't please. A brown tabby mix with 
bright blue eyes. Oh, blue, bright blue gray eyes. Oh, nice. Which is where the blue is his name. Oh, whiskey blue makes sense. So where did the whiskey come from? <laughs> you guys like whiskey? In my marriage, we've named all of our cats and dogs after food. Oh, really? How cute. Hence the olive name. Okay, cool. Sierra. Sierra. <whistles> treat, treat. See, she comes quick. As soon as I say treat, treat, she's over. She's like, yes, mom, I want a treat treat. Can you give me a treat treat? Want a treat treat? <gasps> yes, mommy. <laughs> anyway. So it's been a fun night, y'all. What time is it on your guys' side of the world, Mama Bear? Um, she likes it when it squeaks. Jetta says, so many animals in shelters need homes. Yeah. When I went to get Sierra, there was 900 dogs and cats needing a home. So please, if anybody in here is wanting to adopt uh, an animal, please don't hesitate to do it because they need to find good homes. I thought about um, when I went to the shelter the other day. I went to the shelter in my city because when Sierra got her rabies shot, um, I had to go and prove that she had her rabies shot so I could pay her um, tags, right? So um, I got her rabies tags or whatever. And when I was there, I was like, I want to go look for like a sibling for Sierra. But then I'm like, I kind of do and I kind of don't because I travel a lot. And then when I travel... Like, for example, um, I paid like 5K for her to get trained. Can you imagine if I'm doubling that? That's 10K that I'm paying to, you know, have a dog trained or whatever, you know? So that's a lot of money, like, over time, you know? Um, it's 6.24 a.m. Oh, wow. Yeah, adopt, don't shop. Exactly. Oh, don't worry about it. I didn't even notice it was in there twice. I didn't even read it once. I skipped over it by accident. Let me read it. Um, are you going to have the party on live or are you going to put it on your channel? Well, I'm still kind of like up in the air of what I'm going to do. Um, just as I had a birthday party for myself, like for the last two years in a row, I didn't stream my birthday because it's really hard for me to stream and host a party at the same time. Does that make sense? Like, cause I'm so concentrated on what's going on with you guys that I would kind of ignore my guests. And I feel that that's not very polite for me to ignore my guests. So it would have to be that somebody's streaming for me to stream the party. Um, this party though I'm having for Sierra is, it's a very, very small party. It's not gonna be like anything over the top. Like, I live in an apartment, so it's not like, okay, we're going to have, like, a huge blowout party or anything like that. But I just invited, like, you know, a couple dogs from the area. And even if they don't have um, their dogs with them, like dog owners, so then they can bring, you know. Um, so Sierra could pass out the little doggy bags to them. Um, some of the people, they have to work. So they can't, excuse me, they can't bring their dogs. Um, and then I invited like a couple friends, not too many. Um, but I don't, I don't know who can make it and who can't. I know a lot of people I know work and stuff on the weekends. Most of my friends are like nurses or different things like that. So, Sierra, what are you doing, mommy? What are you doing? You got your toys over there? You got your monkey? What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? You tearing it up? She tears up everything, you guys. Everything. I have to watch constantly to make sure, like, that she doesn't swallow stuff and things like that. We got Kiwi. Oh my gosh, Kiwi. That's a cute name. At, at the same no kill shelter. 
I got her from a kill shelter actually so luckily like she's such a good dog like I would have been so devastated if they put her down um I know um in Corona well I got her in her, her in Harupa um but in Corona they had a free day in Harupa that's how when I got her and I was like I'll oh, just go look I'm not gonna get a dog but you know I'm just gonna look you know but I went there and I looked and I looked and I fell in love with her. Okay, Rhonda in chat, you're gonna <laughs> good night, Jetta. I know I'm starting to get tired too. But um in Corona, I went the other day to pay her tags. And when I was there, there was like five dogs or six dogs, and I guess they're on the the list um of they need to be adopted and they're free. They're actually free of charge because I think they're getting to the point that I think they will kill them, you know? So, um, oh, that just breaks my heart that they would do that. Like, but I'm sure they're... Sierra, Sierra, no, no, Sierra. Thank you. Um... 527 in texas oh okay you're from texas mama bear of one thank you so much for joining you guys are awesome but yeah after after so long they'll kill them but these particular dogs they are they're trying to give them a fighting chance by at least saying hey they're free come and get them so if you go on the website um i don't know if it's like corona humane society or something like that i don't know exactly what the name is but um I think they have them posted there. So if anybody is interested in getting a dog, please check. And you're in Southern California, please check there and see uh, if one of those dogs interest you. I think one of them was like a husky. One was a pit bull. You know, I can't remember what all of them were, but it's so sad. <laughs> She's over here doing the most. What are you doing, mama? What you doing? She loves that lamb, though. It was a lamb unicorn, but she took off the unicorn um, horn. But she loves it. Look at she just rests on it. She, like, sleeps with it. That's just, like, her animal. She loves stuffed animals. But, yeah, I'm tired, too, so I'm probably going to get off of here really soon. It's been fun making the rose pizzas and the cinnamon rolls. <sighs> oh, but thank you guys so much for joining me today. Sierra, you want to say good night to everybody so we can go to bed? I have to be at the hospital tomorrow early, you guys. So, otherwise, I would stay up a little bit longer with you guys. Sierra, you want to go night night? Go 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 night night. You want to go bed? You want to go lay down? Let's go lay down. Let's go. <laughs> she she knows. Let's go. We only ever get our cats and dogs um, from no kill ones. So, so answer me this question. I mean, it's just a question like that I'm curious. Like, I know that there's there's kill shelters, and then there's non kill shelters, right? But would you prefer to rescue? a cat or a dog from a kill shelter where they're going to actually kill them? Or would you prefer to go to and support only non-kill shelters? Like, how do you look at that situation? You know what I'm saying? I was born and raised in SoCal. Oh, really, Mama Bear? I didn't know that. Good night, Rhonda. Take care. Thank you so much, Christian, for joining tonight. Dragon Knight, thank you so much. Um, I will be streaming... I'm not going to stream today because I'm going to go in the hospital. Um, Friday, I may or may not stream. I don't know. Um, I guess technically this will be the stream for today. The lacrosse one was for yesterday. <laughs> um, Saturday, I'll be in the hospital too. So if I do stream again, it'll either be uh, Saturday night when I get out or Sunday um sunday for her party but if not i will definitely probably stream her birthday 
So if I don't stream her birthday party that I'm having on Sunday, I'll actually stream her actual birthday and everything I do with her on her birthday. You lived in Long Beach? Oh, okay. Over by um, which part? Which part of Long Beach? Long Beach is pretty big. Hey, Robert Martinez, how are you? Welcome. I would rescue my cat or dog from a kill shelter, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, you would you would think, but um, I mean, maybe they have their reason, you know, of a non-kill shelter, like to support that shelter, you know? I understand, I'm going to try to catch your next live stream. Oh, thank you so much, I do appreciate that. Um, it was really good meeting you today. Um, I had a really good time. Like I like to learn um, what they were showing today. They were teaching uh, about content creators and you know never giving up and you know keep pushing forward type thing. Uh, even if like you fail at your first years of being a content creator, you only get better and better in time. And um, it was just a really good message that he he said. So um, I'm glad I was able to experience that uh, that talk with you today, Rosemary. I don't know why I keep calling you Rosemary, but is it Rosemary, right? Rosemary or Rosemary? And this is spelled like Marie. But it was a pleasure meeting you. It says the no-kill shelters typically run on donations and are considered second chance places where they go to kill shelters who don't keep animals longer than say a week, depending on the situation. Okay, so the one that Sierra was in, I think they keep them like 50 something days. And then after that, I think they kill them. But don't quote me on that. I think it's something to that effect. Um, technically Lakewood. Oh, okay. I actually used to go to Lakewood all the time. I used to go to Lakewood and Cerritos malls all the time, like young, but, um, so I grew up in Buffalo and Diamond Bar, but I'm no longer there. Later today, it's hard to, um, see seniors go good. Just getting ready. Um, more high school softball later today. Oh, fun. Are your kids in high school then playing softball? What are their teams, their team names? Uh, you're in my prayers. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. So yeah, um, I'll be done with the hospital. Like, I mean, I'll be still going to the hospital, but with all my procedures and stuff that I was doing um, on the 24th and then um, my next major surgery is like in a month and a half or something like that from now. I was supposed to be actually on the 26th, so they postponed it by a couple months. Um, <clears throat> and then I just had uh, different procedures, not yesterday, now the day before yesterday, technically, now. And um, they put IVs in me and did those procedures. So I felt really sick yesterday. Not yesterday, the day before yesterday. And so I didn't go live. I was gonna go live that night, but I was like, no, nah, I can't. Uh, I was like throwing up and I just didn't feel well at all. Um, folks call me Rosemary, but my real name is Rosemary. Call me Rosemary, it, it's cool. <laughs> All right, so you prefer Rosemary, not Rosemary, but either one is okay. I, I, you said you prefer which one. I'll call you whatever you prefer to be called. In our experience, kill shelters aren't uh, run as well as no kill shelters. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, because you feel like they're going to care about your animal more. Um, they try to find um, homes more than kill shelters. Oh, wow. So I asked the two kill shelters, like, how often they have free days, like, for people to come and get animals. And then they said, it's just random. Like, they don't ever 
like say oh it's like once every three months or something like that um it's just random dates and i was like okay so what i think happens is once they get like to max capacity they'll have like a free day i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking i'm not sure you know that's just my opinion um so people will come in and adopt them neil said that's sad to hear um on the street las vegas um born and raised on the playground is where i spent most of my days <laughs> you're so silly it does not say las vegas where he's born and raised vegas rebel i love your personality um mama bear says when i was there in lakewood i was a part of long beach school district yeah things are so different back in the day like even the, all of that was like one area code <laughs> now they're all separate and um uh neil says i hope it goes well Rhonda. thank you so much neil and neil thank you so much i really really truly appreciate um you and paul martinez wife uh, uh and paul um lori uh, martinez they were so kind and um they sent as well as you um christmas cards and and get well cards um neil that means so much to me and i'm so sorry that i didn't see it sooner um i went to the mailbox and i kept asking do i have mail because i had lost my key and she kept saying no i didn't have any so she would only give me like packages not actual um like cards so she'd be like oh you have a package and i'm like okay but she would never tell me I had anything in my mailbox. So then one day my roommate, because she started like getting stuff in the mailbox too. She came and she's like, oh, here, here's like a stack of cards for you. And I was like, oh, shit, I've never even saw those. So I wanted to thank you and reach out to you um, from the bottom of my heart. And I'm sorry I didn't see them sooner. Thank you so much. That meant so much to me that you reached out um, when I was in the hospital and not feeling good. And, you know um you made sure i had a card in the mail that was really sweet of you um barley was uh free because she was black lab and darker dogs and cats are discriminated against them i didn't know that i know that the cats because they're, they're like a superstition right sierra sierra <whistles> come here treat treat come here get treat treat let's see if she comes sierra Treat, treat. Here, come on. Come here. Come here, mommy. Come here. I love you. I love you. I love you, mommy. I love you. What are you doing in there? You're playing with your toys? You're playing with your toy? You're going back to playing with your toy? <laughs> She's silly. She's such a good dog, though. She really is um that's the post office for you no it's not the post office it's actually a mailbox um like a peel box place that i pay uh for and um it's my fault it's not their fault it's because i lost the key so i wasn't able to like go and look inside of it and i was depending on them to tell me yeah there was stuff in there and i even asked her can you look in there for me but I think what happened was she looked in the wrong box. Um, I didn't know about the dogs and cats as well. It's right about the mailbox. Yeah, I didn't know that. That I wish I would know that. Like, I've actually wanted my whole life to get a Samoyed. Um, I. I started off wanting a Siberian Husky and a Samoyed, but then later on, I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll get a smaller version of a Husky, which would be a Pomsky because I have an apartment. But then when I went to go look at the shelter, there was no Pomskys, there was only Huskies. But then I found Sierra and she was small statured for a Husky and I was like, okay, She'll be okay in my apartment because there was some that I saw that were like really big. And I was like, no, that dog is not going to do well in my place. But I think Sierra is just perfect. Like she's, 
I've always my whole life wanted a big dog. And so I got that big dog, but that loving dog, like I don't want like a like a killer dog. I know some people want like a German Shepherd. If somebody comes and breaks in their house, they're just gonna rip off their head, you know, kind of thing. I just wanted a loving dog because I don't wanna have to worry about like the dog turning on somebody and then being charged with X, Y, and Z that the dog bit them and blah, 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 you know? Uh, yeah, superstition, unfortunately. Yeah, that happens. I can see it with the black cat, but I never knew black dogs were discriminated against like that. So they're free everywhere because I don't know that, I don't know if that holds true in the shelter that I got, Sierra. I think that they they charged on on that shelter for all dogs doesn't matter if they're dark or not i think the siberian husky they're so smart and beautiful yeah she's intelligent i'm telling you this dog she is brilliant some of the stuff she does i'm like damn like she knows how to open the refrigerator and get shit out she knows how to do all kinds of stuff like she's amazing super smart and like she notifies me like if i'm in bed for example and she has to go to the bathroom like say she has to have like a major blowout like of diarrhea or something she will literally notify me it doesn't matter if it's four o'clock in the morning she'll come to me she'll lick my hand and she'll lick my face and she'll tell me like that's her way of telling me i need to go to the bathroom so once i learned that that's what she was doing instead of just being friendly and like oh wanting to lick me and sniff me or whatever once we learned each other i think that was the biggest thing then i was able to know her wants and needs like at first i didn't know sierra sierra come here mama <whistles> let me see what she's getting into come here mommy what are you getting into what are you getting into? You're licking your chops over there. What are you getting into? Come here. Come here. Come on. She's looking at me like I'm going to lick. Come here. What you getting into, mommy? <laughs> you want to stay here? Look at this. She always puts her back into me all the time. I love this about her. It's like so loving. She loves me, huh? You love me, mommy. Love me, uh, Neil says there was an octopus in Port Phillip Bay in Melbourne that guided a driver to oh, a diver to an underwater shrine for for a person. Oh wow. They're so smart, huh? Like dolphins are really, really, really smart too. It amazes me how smart some of these animals are. Like, really, really, really smart. Oh, my God, you guys. The other day, it broke my heart, you guys. Literally, a tear came to my eye. Drez sent me this video. I wish I could show you guys. And it was of an owner of a dog that had passed away. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. But the dog was, like, like frantically trying to get up to see inside the coffin. And then when the dog like went inside the co like looked inside the coffin, it was like glass over the top. Like you could see the dog was like just laying on the glass, like looking in at, at its owner. Oh my God, that broke my heart. I was like, if something happened to me, Sierra wouldn't be with me. And then like, what would she do? Like, where would she go? And that reality sat in when I left to Africa and did my medical mission in Africa. I was like, there is a reality that I can go to Africa and not come back alive. And I told that I had to have that conversation with um, with my dog's trainer. And I was like, look, I have nobody to put Sierra with if something were to happen to me. And he's like, you know, if anything were to happen to you, he's like, I'll take on Sierra and take care of her. And I was like, OK, like it, it like scared me. I mean, I'm sure packable and love light would want to take her because they call they call them they're like are you, when are you gonna bring our dog back to us i'm like she's my dog she's not your dog but <laughs> um she's so lovable and i wouldn't want to find her in like a kill shelter that would just break my heart that like i saved her from being killed and then 
somebody turned around and put her right back in there. That's a beautiful name, Sierra. Yeah, um, I chose that name because I had a uh, elementary school friend um, named Sierra. She spelled her name differently. It was S-I-A-R-A. -A. Um, but then when I asked everybody, they're like, spell it like it really should be spelled. Um, and then technically, like, my ex-boyfriend and I, we, like, named her together. And so he told me to spell it S-I-E-R-R-A. So I'm kind of glad that I spelled it that way, though, because um, instead of how my friend spelled it, because then I could find, like, things with her name on it. For example, let me show you. Hold on. Let me see. Like this. Sierra, come here. Come here. Come get treat treat. What is she eating? Hold on, let me see what she's eating. Sierra. What are you eating, mommy? You got your toy? You got your toy, mommy? She's got her toy, she's just playing. Like this, like this for example. On my door. Sierra has, right here it says, I love Sierra. And it's called S-I-E-R-A. I took her to the Winchester house. So we actually went there. We took her to the Space Needle. Um, where did I get this one at? There's this one. This one that also says the Winchester Mystery House. So it has her name spelled like that. But I wouldn't be able to find things like that if I didn't spell it the normal way so and then you could spell it with a c too sometimes people spell it with a c i was like uh, i'm gonna just uh spell it that way so then um i let since i chose the name i let him choose the spelling and then i let him choose the middle name and so he wanted to name her brand <laughs> And because his name's Brandon, so um, he wanted to name her Brand, and I was like, uh, I was like, well, how about Brandy? I go, Brandy's like more of like a girl's name, I guess. I don't know of any Brand girls. I don't know. Let me see. My moment with um, Barbie was when um, a pitbull was about to attack me a year into having. Having, oh, having her, I had uh, spent months um, cuddling with her, and when we would take the kiddo to the drop, oh, she's afraid of cars. That moment with the other dog, uh, oh, solidified, oh, that she would protect you, oh, at all costs. That is so nice. Like, I'm wondering if Sierra would do the same thing. Like, sometimes I wonder. Like the other day, me and Michael were driving outside, and there was three coyotes no four coyotes three in one spot and one somewhere else and i recorded it but i was like oh my god what if i was walking outside and like a coyote were to attack us and there was a pack of coyotes right three of them they would come after us how how would it work out would she like try to protect me i that ran through my head so um she knew i was going to protect her from things that scared her all it's hard to find anything with your name. With Neil? Really? Oh, Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, if I had another dog, like it depended on if I had a boy or a girl. But if I had a girl, I would name, um, I would, because I always wanted to have like two horses. I wanted to name them Sierra and Savannah. But, um, so I'll get another dog. I'll name it Savannah, probably. From the movie Savannah Smiles. I used to love that movie as a kid. I'm so cold, you guys. <laughs> I should warm this up. Let me get some more warm, warm coffee to warm up. So cold. Let me put some on. Let me put some on. Ooh, it's so cold. I gotta pick up everything. All these toys on the floor. Sarah just makes a mess look. All day long, she drags all her toys. And all day long, I pick them up and put them back. <laughs> you see all of her toys all over the ground? She's a hot mess. 
Yeah, the, there's nothing much. Oh man, I'm sure you can find something somewhere or at least have it like special made. They have a lot of things you can get special made with your name on it. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me pick up your toy. Sierra, do you want your toy? You want your toy, mommy? Oh shoot! I didn't realize I I let I shut the door. I forgot. Here, mommy. Here. Here. Ah, oh, Sierra. Go get it. Go get it. Oh man. I locked her in there. I didn't mean to lock her in there. I didn't mean to lock you in there. Well, you weren't locked in there. You would just close the door because I was showing the bone on the door. Uh, anyways. Alright, guys. Well, I think I've been on four hours and 30 minutes or so. So I think I'm going to call it a night, but um, thank you so much for joining. Again, shout out to the mods. You guys are awesome. Um, mine's to Neil. I know because of the way you spell it. That's why it's hard to find stuff in your name. And years ago, when I was a kid that used to have this children's show on TV called Romper Room. You know what? I've heard of a romper room. Is that like um was that a club? <laughs> Maybe a club. Maybe it was after that show. I don't know. Um let me see. Okay, here. Um, and the teacher would look through this mirror. She called everyone's name, but not me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she couldn't figure it out. Good night, Neil. You're so sweet. Let me pick up some of these toys really quick. <laughs> you want some of this? You want to get this one? You want to take that one? Go take it in the room. Go take it in the room. Go on. Go take it in the room. Now let me clean up all this stuff. Go on. Go take it in the room. Go on. Go lay down. If I, if I say go lay down, she knows to go lay down. Like she will literally listen and go lay down in there or like if i say um go night night she'll she'll know to like crate up at night when i used to crate her i don't crate her anymore though okay Rhonda, pleasure to be on your live stream peace and blessings thank you so much rosemary thank you so much i appreciate you coming in it's so so good to have you in my chat and it was really nice meeting you today i was the only neil in my school of 500 students really and I actually know other Neils, so it's not like it's an uncommon name. <laughs> Sierra has a squeaker in her mouth and another one she's standing on. <laughs> yes, you like your toy, don't you? Go take your toy in the room and lay down. As soon as I pick up toys, she brings more back out. I gotta bring more. All right, Sierra. I'm gonna go take this. Take your, take your lamb. You go to sleep. Lay down, go lay down, go night nights. We just said go night nights. Go night nights. Okay. Alright, I'm turning off all the lights. We're ready for bed. Mama Bear says, nice to catch um, a live Rhonda and nice to see you um, stateside. Are you going to Disneyland soon? Yes, I will be going to Disneyland um, sometime after the 24th, but I will let you guys know the date I decide to go. Um, it will be this month, probably. Um, I have not yet made a reservation, but um, after the 24th of the month, I'll be more free from the hospital and I'll be able to do um, more things. Um, but I, I will probably be going to the beach on Monday as long as weather permitting. I haven't checked the weather. Um, but if weather permits, I will take her to the beach for the first time for her birthday. Um, cause I just feel like she'll enjoy the beach. Um, she likes watching like wildlife, the birds and stuff like that. Being outdoors today, I took her to the park or yesterday, actually, technically I took her to the park and 
she just loves sitting out in the sun and um, just having that heat hit her back. Even though Husky's really like, you know, cooler weather, she was actually enjoying the sun, sitting out in the sun, not under the shade or anything, but out in the sun. Rhonda, how early do you have to wake up? Um, probably like around nine o'clock in the morning. But I probably won't go to sleep for another 40 minutes or so by the time I take her to the bathroom and um, I gotta clean up the garage and um, still finish drinking my cafecito. Hold on. Let me get that. Let me get some more amaretto. I just, that's why I made some more coffee, you guys, because I'm not going to bed yet. I am tired. I need to go lay down and go to sleep. Oh, Put some more Amaretto. Do not sleep on this, guys. You guys, next time you're at the store, get this. Amaretto is good. Mix it with Bailey's. It would be even better. But I don't have any Bailey's. Oh, now we got pizza for tomorrow, though. Mm -hmm. nom, 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 nom. She's looking at me like, what are you drinking and why are you not giving me any? <laughs> She's playing with me. Okay. Much love to everybody in the chat. Thank you again for joining. I had a blast with y'all tonight. And dang, we almost hit 60 likes. That's awesome. I'm so happy that uh, I caught a live stream. This is so awesome. Like I said from the beginning, I just woke up and seen your live stream. And it was just so wonderful and beautiful and peaceful. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Uh, my episode... Epilepsy meds make it so I am an insomniac. So I sleep after um, kiddo goes to school and I am up by 1 p.m. Ooh, that's not a lot of hours. You know what? I sleep probably like four to six hours at the most. But um, I wish I could sleep like eight. <laughs> but unfortunately, I have fibromyalgia and stuff like that. So when I lay down, it's so painful for me if I lay for long periods of time. So, what's the dream? You wanna go potty? You gotta go potty? You gotta go potty? Go potty? Let's go. You wanna go potty? She's looking at me like, huh? <laughs> you go potty? Yeah? Watch. You have to lick, look, she's licking my finger. That means she needs to go. Come on, let's go potty. Hold on. Let me go see punch. Come on. Okay, come on. All right. She's licking my hand, so all right, guys, I'm gonna get off of here, so I'm gonna take her out to the bathroom. But anyways, it was great seeing you guys. Which is why I'm up with you all in Kelly. Oh man. Thank you guys for joining. You guys are awesome. Everybody, make sure you guys leave a love note. If you guys are not familiar with my live stream, I do uh, what's called love notes. It doesn't have to be a love note, but it's a, just basically a little message after my live stream is over telling me what you liked about my live stream or maybe where you want to see me go in California. Um, as well as I will be doing my gift card giveaway at the end of every month. Okay. So if this is your first time in my chat, please consider subscribing. And if you're a member of my chat for at least 30 days, then you will qualify for the gift card giveaways. So those of you guys who just came in today, this is your first time. Um, so 30 days from now, that means next month you'll qualify for the gift card giveaways. So um, thank you again for joining. 
and I do gift card giveaways for the mod of the month. I do it for what I call love notes, leaving a message after the live stream is over. And then I do like game nights and guessing of uh, prices of things that I'm buying or um, different games, stuff like that. So today, Sam and Fella uh, got an entry. Um, and then we give out $25 gift cards for that. So at the end of every month. So um, always be present. It's 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the last day of every month, unless it's like um, New Year's Eve or something like that, then I usually change the date. All right. So thank you again for joining and I, <laughs> you'll put a love note. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys on the next live stream which will probably be, be like Saturday night, maybe, if not Sunday, possibly, but for sure on Monday, all right? So just depending on if I can, or even if I get out of the hospital early enough tomorrow, then maybe tomorrow, we'll see. I will let you guys know. I do oval full of some cookies, so we might do a cookie night um, this week or something like that, all right? Much love to everybody and thank you again for joining. Smash that thumbs up and I'll see you on the next live. Bye guys. Thank you.